I'm uh, having a charity event for people that struggle to orgasm. Yeah. Let me know if you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> I might. Um, what do you call a woman who thinks she can do anything a man can do? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you call a bunch of dead people on a street in Russia? Don't know. A protest. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> putting that in hard <laughs> how'd you make a game fuck a woman oh my god oh shit, shit I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> wow right. go Marlo go please fuck every time so loud <laughs> Good evening, scumbags. Welcome back to another episode of In the Doghouse, the podcast that's supporting Pride Month by sucking fat dicks. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> Big up, Kenneth. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Sake. Ring the fucking bell. <sighs> it's keeping. Right, um, please don't buy merch. Is it getting that bad? Don't buy merch. Have, um, have you been banned from the parcel shop? <laughs> It's getting close. Not that weird cunt again. <laughs> what the fuck do you do? Why are you bringing 20 <laughs> parcels down here at a time? Uh, Every day. None of your business. You Got them in, I'm fucking off. Ta-da. Cheo. Get a four pack of Budron down there. <laughs> oh, sounds about right. Um, what's... Uh... <laughs> we don't have any new t-shirts. Don't go on the website. No. No, there's definitely not new... Um... DPRC merch on there at all is that there, Jilo is definitely not driving an escort on a t-shirt no no and uh, our guests have already said no that's terrible that's yeah, just it, the worst design te- you've ever done yeah that's it oh, awful just, just awful just don't even bother uh, the new 80s and 90s t-shirts are just awful so please don't fucking buy them and they don't come in three different colours and they're, they're not they're just not they're not up to pass so just no. don't even bother you know we There's, fucked up they're definitely yeah. not new lanyards incoming as well no and the flags have definitely not been restocked <laughs> no. Oh. 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 Spicy. They're not there. Right. Cool. Um, <laughs> That's that. Patreons. Wow. Wow. We were. You're fucking awesome. We yeah. still love you, millions. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, Patreons. You literally. Have, um. Yeah. We've we've got. Well, I'd say it. Fuck it. By the time this comes out. No. Not quite. The day after this comes out, we're actually having aircon installed in the bar. Because I know you're like, God, oh, it's Tory cunts. How hot is it in here, boys, at the moment? It's fucking warm. It's <sighs> a nearly unbearable. Give Am me I some, right? some minerals here. I mean, if you used to do the old scratch and sniff on a nut sack, it's not going to be nice. No, it's it, it, they're hanging low. It's that fucking... Wa- it's, it's fucking horrendous, I won't lie. So yeah, we're, we're getting aircon. And that is literally thanks to you guys. And thanks to you guys that we can afford to run it as well, because it's three and a half K. So <laughs> that is a, that's a spicy boy. That meat's going to be going round and round <laughs> and It's literally like, you imagine just holding the kettle on boil for like three hours. It's that all is... lies. All lies. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? It's fucking, have you ever seen the BTUs on a fucking air con? It's insane. So yeah, that's a, that's a, thanks to you guys. Uh, if you join the Patreon, what can you get, Marlon? So uh, you get access to the Discord. If you are a top tier scumbag, uh, you get ten percent off the merch. Ah, and yeah, the Discord. What? 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 Describe to us what the Discord is like, boys. I'm gonna fucking hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, Hitler would frown. <laughs> <laughs> he really would. I don't think you'd be wrong there either. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's one of those things, if it ever gets leaked, you, it's a FBI, open Some, up! <laughs> somebody's going to jail. <laughs> I don't think it's a case of somebody's going to jail. We're all going to jail. All of us. I all have not incriminated us. myself once. Allegedly. <laughs> it's, I'd, it's, I'd hand in my hands and be like, it was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> I'll take the fucking plea. <laughs> I have no defence. I rest my case. And to be fair, the stories you'd have to tell in jail, your ass is safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you become a patron and you join the Discord, uh, it's... What um, else do you get, Reg? What else do you get? Uh, oh, you get included in the monthly Pit Viper giveaway. So oh. there you go. Just literally join the Discord, or join the Patreon, you're just automatically entered. I ain't got to think about it and we'll do that every month. Yeah, big shout out to Pit Viper. Next one is the 30th, which is not next week, the week after. There you go. Boom. Awesome. And finally, a massive fucking shout the fuck out to the sponsor of this episode, JR Tree and Land Services. Marlon, the man cave is 
It is. It's the sanct. It's the sanct. That's know, it. It's it the, is the sanctuary of the of the modern man. It is the sanctuary. I mean, you've got your garage, which you've inevitably filled up with shit, haven't you? you no, filled, it's a workshop. Well, exactly. Is it's not. It's not really like what I've done, is it? No, I can. Hmm. What? Mo, well, I was gonna put it, put it this way, mate. Why do you come round here early before recording? So I can get shit done. Oh, see, there you go. So you come around here to get shit done with beer on tap and quiet and, you know, all of the amenities that the modern man needs. You have a good point there. So if you have a garage or even if you just have a fucking corner in your garden, hit up our man JR Tree and Land Services and just be like, look, Shag, what I've done is I've drawn it out on the back of this fag packet, what I'm thinking, blah, blah, blah. blah and you know your man's going to be on your fucking wavelength because he listens to the podcast. He's going to be like, Shag, I've got it covered. Don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. So if you're looking for a little log cabin or even just a fucking garage conversion, don't do what I did and just have a go at it yourself because as uh, our guests can uh, confirm, it is like fucking £10 a shit in a £5 bag. Uh, get someone who knows what they're fucking doing to do yeah, it. I fucking like it in here. It's fucking epic. That's because you live in a yeah. caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Tesco's is fucking you, epic. You can sit the fuck down when you say that. <laughs> All right, I know I'm a pocky cunt, but <laughs> leave it out. And he admits it. <laughs> so yeah, hit up your boy JR Tree and Land Services on uh, he just uh, tr- JR Tree and Land Services on Instagram. All the details, uh, phone number, email, and all that good shit is in the episode description and link in bio. Top link, it's right there. Hit him up for any of your of the above work. There is so much more to list, <laughs> so I'll get into that later. <laughs> right, let's re end the episode, Marlon. Uh, uh, let's go. So. Who have we got on tonight? We are joined by two of the I just, and uh, I, I I don't scummiest of scumbags wouldn't really suit. I think they're lower than scum, really. Bottom um, of the pile, like yeah, like you know that shit that you drag out of an old like fucking tanker. Yeah, it's it's there. So we're joined by Alex and Dwayne. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hello. How are you doing, boys? All right. Well, I was until you fucking said that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to pick you up, man. I, and I, I just... don't even drive a tanker. <laughs> No, that's me. Yeah. Tanker wanker. Yeah, well, at least you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're the sludge that just won't come off, no matter how hot you turn that pressure washer up. You're just still there. Oh, well, it gets better when I got to do the six where I open the back door up and clean all the shit out of the back of that one. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, well, it, it's put it another way. It's like the stuff at a bulker. It just sticks and you just just you just you stare at it every time. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah next yep, time. That I'll load something else on top of that and wait for it to drag it out. Thank you very it. much. Goodbye. <laughs> like, um, the shit in the bottom of your Huel fucking glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a trap of gold that's stuck and then at the you get top. The shits. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we. We know, yes, yes, we've all done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great for the weight loss, though. Lesson, Big up you. lesson learned, lesson learned. Clean me fucking beer lines out every week. Clear me coffee machine out, out every week. Like, ah, oh, shake <laughs> some cold water around the old shake. <laughs> hey, beer eat, wouldn't he? Fuck's sake. So, yeah. Right. Uh, should, should we dive straight into it? Let's go, Marlon. Guest questions. Right, Alex, go to drink. Oh, at the moment, it's got to be a nice... Fruity cider at the moment, like normally like short line rock uh recordial. Oh yeah, re- proper re- summer spec. Recordial? Yeah. Record record a leg, isn't it? Record, record, record a leg, leg. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah fucking shit. It's good. Can you short short line? But can you drink too many of uh, uh, how many of those can you drink though? Because they're fucking sweet, aren't they? Oh, I can drink them all night long. Really? I can do like I'm glad that like the uh Orange that just comes in a four pack because after that I'm like fucking diabetes all the fuck. That is just too much for me. <laughs> well, I mean, that's but number do, they do come three in three now. They come in three thirties, don't they? So it's not too bad if they come in a big five hundred. Twelve fuck. case three thirties, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, yeah, but it's, it's summertime, isn't it? I like a fruity cider. Yeah, during summer. the winter is more like a nice ale. An ale? Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, I love a good ale. Well, like a, I like ale, but it gives me gut rot. Are you one of these fuckers that go into a pub and just go whatever you got on guest, mate? Not all the time. It depends what's there. Uh, right, if, yeah. if it's one I've not seen before, but I'll just have a little try of that one. If I don't like it, I'll go, I'll go back to some. Oh, no, the worst the part ale is the worst part oh, is yeah. I'm starting to get like that as well. <laughs> I really am. I go in there, look at the Stella tap, look at the Thatcher's tap, like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh, oh fine tune brewery. Oh, I'm fucking oh, a little one of those. That's all right. And then I end up shitting out my ass the next day. But yeah, what That's about what yourself? I get gut rot. So bad. What about yourself? So I'm usually by the pint Guinness, um, by the spirit, the old Captain Morgan's and Coke. Ah. But I had a pint old school, not had it in a very long time. Didn't even know you could still get it, but it was a snake bite. You what? Oh, snake yeah. bite. You can buy that. Yeah. I, yeah, thought yeah. It was Ill- yeah. I thought we had this thing back on where it's actually illegal to serve that, isn't it? Well, we had a drink. How many did we fucking have of those? 
Well, I, I think have been if, you, if, you, you? if you mix them yourself, it's fine, but you can't... Oh, no, they I, were doing it for us. Well, we won't, inclu- <laughs> we won't include the fucking name of it. You're right, mate. You're right. You're this just... fucking mic arm is drooping. Have you you have done it up tight. Up. Yeah. Who was it? It was fucking old, old Muscles McGee Tunstall that fucking Dwayne, launched that. Can you that open cunt. out there, please, bud? Do you it's put... tight. There's a hand. It is dropping, isn't it? It's not me. No, it is. I literally it is dropping, yeah. Very slowly. Prop, some, prop it up, mate. Just... <laughs> He's having a right fucking mare. It's because he keeps swinging off all the time. The problem is that, no, yeah, that's you know, me, that's I him. I tell you why it's dropping. It's because you're not undoing the fucking screw when you lift it up. So you're just fucking rounding the cunt out. Undo the screw before you no, lift like, it. No, I've done it up too tight. I can't oh, undo the screw. Oh, here we go. Anyone would think he's a mechanic, wouldn't they? You know? Just put something to prop or it up underneath. You fucked it now, mate. Oh, just, just no, keep that's, it down that's there. No, it down. He's have to... That's bad posture. It's not tight. good. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> be fair. Yeah, out the chair. Modern problems require modern solutions, mate. Yeah. For, for our listeners, Marlon's just let the gas ram out fucking four inches on the chair. <laughs> now I feel like a fucking dwarf. That's actually your normal standing height, I think. It's like going to juicy. <laughs> oh, sorry, we got distracted. So, the snake bite, what the fuck? You, uh, okay, what? Snake bite. I've never had it, mate. Honestly, you've God, never I've had a snake never bite. Had a snake Holy bite. shit. All right, right, tell you what, we'll have one in a minute because we got fucking beer inside. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we can have them. All you need is yeah, three it's not ingredients. like I'll be up, up for work at half six, is it? Yeah. <sighs> what, that man? sounds like a you problem, mate. Yeah, it's only cows, mate. They look after themselves, really, don't they? <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, can't you just can't you just like put the feeders on automatic? Oh yeah, yeah, of course I can, mate. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's, it's called getting the, the robots in them. What? It's called getting the robots in. Uh, I don't know can't how we I'm meant to Wi-Fi? feed beef cattle with robots, but yeah, well, I think well, that's milking. Respect to it, so <laughs> get me yeah, the fucking milking. times. <laughs> <laughs> ah, milkers. To be fair, if I had to be up at five in the morning, I would find some way that I'd have a robot do it for me. <laughs> Fuck that shit. You have to do that three times a day, like. I used to, yeah. Fuck oh, what a banger! Twelve hundred guys. Fucking yeah, that was that was me done. <laughs> anyway, we are getting way the fuck off track. <laughs> Snake bite. Right, Alex. Uh, most mental thing to happen on a night out. I can't sit like this. I got to put it back on. up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to go first while you think? Yeah, you go first, Dwayne. So probably, uh, fuck it, we'll go with it. So me and a mate of mine, Dom, big up Dom, Mister Bell. Um, we were on a night out in Exmouth. And we'd gone into the only club there, which I believe at the time was called Fever, you know, the big old chain. And uh, we got in, having a few drinks, having a little boogie, and we saw like the VIP booth was empty. We thought, oh, fuck it, want to sit down? There's nowhere to sit. We'll go, we'll go have a seat. There's some bottles on the table. There was literally no one around. So we went, went and sat down in there. And then uh, a group of girls come over and they start kicking up. Holy hell, like, what the fuck are you doing at our table? Ooh, chill out, we just wanted somewhere to sit. But they just would not let up. And we made Dom, when... Uh, when you, say they take, were, when you say they wouldn't let up, they that were was just because like, you didn't move. Uh, no. <laughs> just fucking all right, constant. fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I can uh, see why they're a bit pissy. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Um, and yeah, he he just sort of ripped into him, And uh, then the bouncers like saw that obviously he was talking to this girl, which may look a little bit suspicious. Um. And then the bouncers come over and just drag him out. Just, there was no, like, what oh, you do. They just, just dragged him straight out. Whilst this all got, they're still having to go at him whilst he's being dragged out. And I'm like, a lot of bottles on this table. There was like a bottle of JD, a bottle of vodka. That's mine. This is mine. So whilst he's getting 10 bales of shit kicked out of him, <laughs> I've, just, I've literally just stole <laughs> just the whole the table. table's worth of alcohol. So whilst what, we're outside... Her, their booze? Yeah, yeah, their oh, booze. Yeah, some yeah. boy. Yeah, their booze. Here's taking so, a hit there, uh, Dom. Huh? Just taking a hit there, Dom. Yeah, well, quite a lot, actually. Um, <laughs> he had a, he, he, we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, yeah, we're outside and I'm like, you're right. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's, we're, we're fine. And I was like, we're more than fine, mate. Look at all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, he was like, oh, how did you do that? I was like, well, you kind of took one for the team, mate. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so yeah, we had a shitload of booze, which was free. Um, and then we also got free takeaway because uh, he played on the, oh, I got beat up. And so we got free takeaway, free booze, basically had a free night. But was it was free night was then outside of a club, I assume. No, we ended up, I think we ended up just lingering like kids do back in the day, I guess. <laughs> middle, middle of the town centre, like lingering like kids do. If there's a Savile defensive ever on They're just know, lingering. <laughs> you know, on top of the bottles, you have like the pourers, like the little snout on yeah, the top. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So we had a lot of free booze. So everyone would have come over, like, oh, we got loads of free, do you want some free booze? And this one guy kept coming back, coming back, and I was, and he was like, "I want the JD." Yeah, no worries. He was smashed. I was like, "Yeah, no worries." Vodka, 
JD vodka kept fucking him up and then uh. he and then he got to a point where he just spewed and passed out. I was like, ha! <laughs> off we go. Brilliant. <laughs> so basically you you stole a, a, some women's tables, stole their booze, and then your mate ended up getting like a ruptured spleen or something. Like, sorry about, you know, the fucking shagged out kidneys, but look at this 20 <laughs> quid's worth of JD I got. We've got a pot of JD and some vodka <laughs> shag. That's like 40 quid. That's true. That's yeah. not 20 quid. That's 40 quid. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. I'm, I'm, I'm way old, man. I haven't bought a fucking bottle of drink in a long time. And they're charging, <laughs> they're they're charging out. Uh, they're charging out. Old as fucking oil. <laughs> they're charging out 100 fucking pound of, 100 pound of bottle. Oh, anyway. Hideous money. <laughs> what about yourself, Alex? I wouldn't say it's more of a mental night out, more of a yeah, mental getting Remix. in. So it was. Oh, I was doing in, well, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, so I was in my mate's house at the time and. Um, I got back from my dad's house to his house. He was upstairs playing his Xbox and his mum was downstairs drinking on her own. At that point, her Daddy. and her current husband at the time, they were basically split up. He was living in a static caravan at the way somewhere. A lot of caravan. A lot of, yeah, a lot yeah, of caravan chat. Pike, pikey spec. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, in a caravan, he's living in a lorry. <laughs> and that and she was like oh come have a drink with me come have a drink with me I was like oh I'm really tired I just want to go to bed just, oh no, come, come have one drink with me well one drink turned in quite a few and things started happening why is this like the running theme at the moment <laughs> what, baby? What, is, what is it with our listeners that look at their mate's mum and be like Whoa. oh no she was a fucking milf oh yeah no I'm not saying she oh, wasn't but she it's just was... all of you like you're all just like yeah was, yeah was my this best... girl called Stacy my... <laughs> <laughs> no my best mate since year six yeah your mum be looking fine <laughs> I'll just burn this relationship to the ground as I blow the back out of fucking Marjorie <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I, yeah things happened I ended up fucking on the sofa downstairs Whilst he's upstairs on the Xbox. <laughs> Afterwards, I was like, ah, we better get you to bed. So I went upstairs, got him. I was like, mate, you can give us a and get your mum into bed, please. <laughs> so he I've gave, just written her off. <laughs> yeah. He, your seed's <laughs> dripping out of her. <laughs> you fucking Basically, <laughs> He gave me a hand to get her up into bed and then I went to bed because me and him shared a room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a big fucking room, mind. Oh, no, I'm, and not, then, um, I'm not debating that. <laughs> That's not the problem. Why the fuck do I let you live in my house? <laughs> <laughs> Your mum wasn't there. <laughs> probably the safest bet. Yeah, you probably, yeah. And I have fucked her many times after that. Fuck's <laughs> sake. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's like a reoccurring thing. It, it was basically every time, like, because I was at one of the family friends, even when she moved out of the, where they were living at the time, I mean, she moved to another little town just a bit further up the road. We would always go around <laughs> on the weekends have a bit of a piss up and that. And even then, like, I'd always end up going to bed with her and shag the fuck out of her. And there was one morning as well where, because she's got two little brothers as well, and at the time, they, I think they were, what, six and eight? I shagged them as well. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was sexy, 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 sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, no, yeah, they fucking walked in the bedroom one morning. Of course, I was in it, but I was. Oh, don't get me wrong, I was, I was dressed, and um, yeah, they basically went back to their old man and said, "Oh yeah," because they asked, "Oh, where's Alex stay when he comes around then?" And they're like, "Oh, he stays in Mummy's bed," and it's like I oh, went around fuck. his bed, so I, got, I get on with all of them as well. And he well, was you like, "Got on with them anyway." <laughs> yeah, Catholic spec. <laughs> oh fucking hell. <laughs> And yeah, so every time I see him, he's like, oh, i seen Mel recently. He's like, um, point blank deny. <laughs> I just, I don't know anymore, mate. I don't know what we've, what, what, what did, we, did we miss something I, or? I missed some sort of thing. I mean, I, for, for a start, I think your man, y- your mate at the time was obviously up. Oh, we still one of my best mates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does I he the know? God he, he don't listen. He doesn't know. And no, he doesn't listen. N- nope. Okay, right. No names, no names. Lincoln by. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know he was upstairs on fucking, on game chat on Call of Duty 4, wasn't he? Yep. Just screaming the N-word at some fucking, oh, someone fuck else. Me, yeah. You were downstairs screaming something else. Because what was I? I was about nine, yeah, it was like 19. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> and what would he be? He'd be 22. I'm thinking you were like 16. Well, that's nice no, territory. No, isn't it? I was. I was sure of it. So I was only about uh, eight, eight, I feel like eighteen we need to, or nineteen. Like, move off this subject. <laughs> right. Uh, I feel yeah. we're digging ourselves a hole here, <laughs> of which we may not be able to get out. So enough nonsense for one night. Just to clarify, Cheers, we do not support nonsery. 
<laughs> that is the official stance season, of Dwayne. Season, season bio. <laughs> right, what has um, this fucking podcast become? <laughs> Dwayne, favourite category on Pornhub? Deep throat. Whoa! Fucking Whoa, deep that's throat, different. man. Absolutely. That head hanging over the bed, giving it the bosh. Oh my bosh. God. Let's fucking go, baby. I'd love to know who pioneered that move. I think you obviously just look, look at the, move, the physics of it and just been like, think kind of like curve like that. When they're like, you yeah, know, oh, that, oh, perfect, yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> just not everyone's dick like curves, you know. Why not? But yeah, that's just your weird penis. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it, it's I'm, got a fucking I'm, ninety I'm degree in it. <laughs> saying like that, yeah, like it, woman, like that, yeah. No, it's you see what I'm saying. No, all right. Yeah, I no. see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just saying not all dicks curve. Not all you know. <laughs> Mine is as straight as a die. Fuck's sake! What about yourself, Alex? Uh, po- yeah, puff cream pie. Uh, I thought you were going to say Portuguese. I thought you were going to say Portuguese. Like, that's some niche shit, man. I love, it. I love nothing more than a uh, like, woman in a bottle of port. Bosh, let's go. <laughs> Hang on a minute, she's Spanish. <laughs> you fucking lied to me. She's got the wrong colours on. Yeah, point point of view cream pies. Love a nice little fucking tidy cream pie. I see, it's something, a port, a port, a port porn has become, I think it's, is it VR that's like kind of... I think that's taken it over and pushed it and pushed it more. Yeah. And I'm, Still I'm, need to hook myself up with a VR headset. Oh, you've seen the new Apple? I'm not, not going to waste your money. The new Apple I'm, one. I'm not wasting my money on a VR headset for like two minutes of wanking. Well, the new Apple one's like three and a half grand, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck wow. no. Jesus. But it's like... Jock is Apple. It's not, it's like VR slash A... Um, and nothing AR. else works with it. And if uh, it's Apple, then it would only work with the iPhones. Yeah, but what I'm you saying say it's is, brand. it's the idea is that it overlays stuff. So, what I'm thinking... Oh, God. Bang the goggles on while you're balls deep, and all of a sudden, the wife becomes Mia Khalifa real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. I'm like, you know what? That three and a half grand ain't looking too bad. <laughs> We're getting that 4D experience. <laughs> while she's getting the D experience. Couple of windblowers. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to describe to the wife why I really got a get fetish get the water sprays in for the square I just want to uh, like, let me put my daft punk goggles on a minute wow, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. A little piano out <laughs> <laughs> I'm up all night to get lucky <laughs> Reg she looks like Perry Piper anyway so <laughs> Reg how's your fucking week then oh f- apparently fucking wank drive I won't lie but weeks, our week's been alright. Bang the new shed up with uh, Luke, Mule and Keith. Big shout out to the boys. She looks fucking tidy. Yeah, it's a nice job actually. Big shout out to the father-in-law for donating the shed. I've never, not paid for a shed yet. And uh, so the, uh, <laughs> the main, well, Keith, full Keith's back obviously. I was like, what, what time are you thinking? He's like, oh, quarter to six. I'm like, fucking hell, I barely got back from work, mate. He turns up. What's that in Army Talk? 1600, 1477. Uh, <laughs> 1745. Brewdock. And um, he, he turns up. Like, fucking hell. Site's not prepared. Existing structure still <laughs> fucking standing. <laughs> the drainage is the, the fucking demo team haven't been in yet. The, the fucking shed's still there. All the stuff's in the shed. I have like the site's not prepped. The demo team haven't been in. Fucking hell, my oh, oh fucking gazer. Anyway, so now yeah, couple shed. of those lot on skimmers still. I give missed you. I've never seen a man on a hilty gun like that. Holy shit! He's just whap whap whap. We had it up. We, we spent a lot of time. Eating food, fuck out and around, drinking, uh, sm- drinking fags, uh, smoking fags, and that was about it. So yeah, whilst well, watching him do all the work, I really didn't do too much. I won't lie, I did. I tried. He's chief I, supervisor, yeah, but yeah. Chief supervisor. I tried, but when you got Keith with a fucking impact gun, there's no stopping the man. Like I've, I had me Dewalt there, but I didn't get a fucking look in. Every time I saw a posy drive head, he was. Meh, meh, meh. So yeah, that was that. <laughs> um, today, however, today was absolutely fucking awful. So first thing, I'm like, all right, sweet, let's get on. Not a lot to do. Um, turns out, lot to do. Uh, the aircon died in the JCB at about half past twelve today. Ah, right when the sun's right yeah, up there, right, right there. And you know, it's you're pretty much in a conservatory, aren't you? In a, in mm-hmm. a tractor cab or a, a telehandler cab. So that was shit. And uh, feeling, and then today. and then after after I realised I had no aircon, the aircon seat really wasn't cutting the mustard for you know the rest of my body, not my ass and my back. Um, yeah, yeah one of the main hydraulic pipes went bang on the uh, straw ah, chopper. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and when you've got the the pump, the constant pumping set at hundred percent, and it's a probably inch and a half pipe. She's a squirter. When that goes bang, oh mama! What the mess? <laughs> Let me put it this way: the whole JCB is rust proof. 
<laughs> the whole JCB. When you're cleaning she her wasn't. off. She wasn't. Oh, she polished up well, didn't it? What do you use? No, that's just hydraulic fluid. That's just hydraulic oh, fluid. This, she like, wasn't rustproof, and now she is. It was... Uh, I just couldn't... You, it, 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 I can't tell you how much comes out that quickly. Oh, yeah. That's high pressure as fuck. It just... Yeah. Is it, that, like, obviously, I didn't... It just rubbed rub through on something. Is there, um like, an internal reservoir? Oh, Yeah. Oh yeah, big, Jeez. big, big. Right. Inter- I mean, I shut it off straight away, but like that initial burst when the pressure drops, it's just. I was like, uh, yeah. I had a hydraulic hose gone a tipper trailer once. Oh yeah, and it went all oh, over yeah. the site. All, all the people that worked on site, it went yeah. all over their cars. Oh shit! That's why when obviously you're, when you're oh, everyone that's listening, every farmer that's listening, when you're tipping a trailer of any size, always have the back window shut. Mm-hmm. Done that before. Yep, <laughs> been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. <laughs> oh, it, it, the smell. No, I'm like, hydraulic oil smells. Why is like, it on smell. the inside of the windscreen? Well, hydraulic oil is just it smells like diff oil. Yeah, it's so just, yeah, it stinks. It? It's just the smell. It just oh, the worst part was I got. Is, is it all, ATF or is it like gear oil? I d- it, no, is, it's I d- it's. I don't actually know the, the W weight rating of it, to be honest, but I know it fucking stinks. So, funny thing was, pipe went bang. I was like, ah, not the end of the world. I have two, two straw choppers. So, I got a backup one. So, I'll just fucking flick that one on. Yeah, what I'd sort of forgotten was a year ago, about a year ago, the same pipe had <laughs> gone bang and I just swapped it over. <laughs> it was one of those, ah, oh, sort that out yes. next week. And I'm like, just flick it on. Press constant pumping, and I'm like, oh, oh, ah, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So clever me actually put the dead pipe back on the old one, thinking I'll put it there so no shit gets in the fucking system. Yeah, so pretty fucked, won't lie. Yeah, that was uh that was that was my week. So a lot of hydraulic oil. It's not cheap when you have to buy the JCB stuff. No. Do you have to put that stuff in? Uh, or is it the well we recommend? Yeah, I don't. To be honest, I don't know. The, I've I've had it. It's been under warranty up until now. So, and the last one was under warranty for until we sold it. So, it's one of those things you have to use their stuff. Mm-hmm. This one's only just gone out. So, I don't know. Anyone, hit me up. Let me know if I can actually run non JCB stuff. I don't want to hear that. Ah, if you're right, shag. Like, I actually want to know. Definitely, you have proof that you've done it for years, and it's okay because. Fuck me, that shit well, is expensive. You have to remember, JCB probably don't make their own oils. Oh no, I know, but I don't. I don't. You, I don't, unless I had it analysed, I wouldn't know what it is. I don't know. There's going to be a load of people out there like, oh, fuck it, man. Uh, I, I don't know. Somebody please let me know in the comments. Whatever. DM me. I don't know. It's but probably yeah. all just like Morris's lubes with JCB branding yeah, on it. Yeah, I mean, it probably is, but I honestly don't know because I don't, I don't want to... F- it's one of those things It's like, if I take I the chance put the right and stuff I in it. wank the fucking pump, shit gets real expensive real quick, doesn't it? So and Maybe speak to Scott. Well, easy man with oil. Hey? And if it's new, out of warranty as well. Yeah, oh yeah, mine's mine's just out of warranty. So I, uh, just, just buy Morris's. Ended? Pardon? Just buy Morris's lubes then. I, I, I don't even know what, what it's not nineteen sixty anymore. Special stuff it is. <laughs> like, and everyone's it's not special, Reg. But I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. So someone advise me. Anyway, that's my week. Uh, what about you, Alex? When was your week? Fucked. <laughs> <laughs> nice. My the favorite. Favorite. The point, like a the pause, trying to sugarcoat it. Nah, just fuck. Yeah, yeah, just fuck. Honestly, <laughs> there I, were I, good I, no. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't work Monday. I went back into work. Uh, yeah, Marlon, UK. He has gone down the wrong hole. So, so someone call nine nine nine. How much was it? Was that four nines? Dog. <laughs> he needs that much attention. He's four nines. You okay? In case we are. Yeah. You well? He's have a little sippy sip out of his water. That's how bad it got. Water went. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> water went down the wrong hole. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, Alex. Continue. <laughs> so yeah, I went back to work Tuesday uh, more straight down to Mole Valley Farmers at Lifton. Yeah, and uh, pick up MBF. <laughs> fucking shit hole. I had to go down and suck out their wash bay intercept. Yeah, wash bay the interceptors and their boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, I got halfway doing the wash bay. What? And... No, Mole Valley Farmers got a wash bay. Yeah, why do they have a wash bay? Yeah, oh, to wash the lorries off. Obviously. Oh, oh, you're actually oh, you're at the, at the feed depot. Yes. I thought you were at a country yeah. store. I'm like, them cunts are fucking no, useless. Yeah, no, <laughs> There's no yeah, chance yeah. of them. Hey, you can't even keep a set of eagles on a fucking shelf. <laughs> let alone watch one of their trucks. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we're down the feed stores. We do oh, yeah. uh, Lifton, Bridgewater, and one over at Dorset Way. Yeah, Dorchester. Um, and yeah, I got halfway through second of the wash bay pit. 
And me tanker pumped the side. It didn't want to suck anymore. It would basically, it would build the vacuum up. You drop the pipe in. It would fill the pipe up and then spit it all back out. I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? Pull the pipe out. About a minute or so, then it would suck the pipe clean. Even if you drop the pipe in like halfway, so it was like half, half sucking the liquid, half sucking the air. Still didn't like that. I spent... Right, I've got a bit of a semi on. I'm not going to lie. This is sounding good. <laughs> it's back and forth in. Ooh. Fucking bit of vacuum. That, that that deep in. What? I got down at half eight in the morning. I left there 20 to one. Done half, well, not even half the fucking work. Well, you find out what was wrong with it or not? fucked, in it? Well, I dropped it straight back into the fucking workshop. Went home at fucking half past two. That was it, just someone else's fucking problem. Yeah, well, yeah, nothing else to be for the day because that was my day's work. Oh, I, right. I basically had to load that and take it up to Avon. I have to go tip. All oh, right, well. I've... And I was like, eh, fuck Quite it. Avon, that's far, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've got old long haul O'Connor over here. <laughs> Fucking Wednesday, I got covered in fucking sludge at a Langport. The abattoir. Fucking Ooh. went. went. Oh, you suck yeah. out abattoirs. Yeah, well, we got bulkers in there for the press sludge. Terrible breath on him. But, <laughs> so the bulker <laughs> I picked up Wednesday night to go literally take it down the road to Evercreek Junction. Yeah. Uh, they had made it a little bit wet. And it wasn't until I got there, I got on the way bridge, I was like, there's a bit of shit down the side of the bulk here. Walk around the back and you can see it piss at the back of the tailboard. Oh, shit. So it's like, I think this load might be a little bit wet. So we pulled the sheet over and it's like, ah, it's just surface. It's a nice bit of dry spot in the middle. Took it in the shed, started cracking the tailboard off, started pissing out. It was in my fucking shorts that splashed up uh, my fucking legs. And I was like... Just slap the fucking not fit for human consumption sticker on the back <clears> drive and just kick oh, her on. Oh, no. All, all of our trailers got that on. Oh, have it? Oh, yeah. And, um... Yeah, can't see it, but they're on there. Eat, yeah. eat the trailer. I, if you see that, it's either poo poo or dead dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, crap the tailboard off, let the tailboard go, and by the time I tipped the trailer up, what caught the way, everything was out. Oh. It, it, yeah, it was fucking wet. Drive, I had that this week. So I um, I had a, I had a sort of, not an over order, but I come to the end of my feed deal like uh, last month. And it was like on the end of, I, I do it like a yearly deal, and it was cheap per ton. So I had like, oh, what I have? I had like 30, uh, 27 ton left on my ticket. So I was like, oh, well, I'll order that. And I knew I didn't have enough room in my bins for it. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just blow it into a dump trailer and I'll blow it into a, a grain trailer. And I'll just work out how to get it into the bolt bins later on. <laughs> well, like, it's we'll figure fucking out later 15 on. ton. Like, I ain't letting that go because the fucking rate went up so much. I was like, mm, that's, that's like th- fucking uh, nearly two grand of fucking saving. So I thought, oh, I'll blow it in there. So that was fine. And the old man was like, all right, I'll get all that set for tomorrow because I, I had a bulker blower coming in and my plan was to tip out the trailers into the bucket and then tip it into the blow, tip it into the bulker and he'd blow it in the bins. Easy job. Old man hooked the machine, hooked the Landini up and uh, to, the, to the grain trailer. Now, I have used that grain trailer for shit a lot, like a lot of shit. So the tailboard might be slightly warped which isn't really a problem because it still seals. However, when the old man plugged it into the fucking, <laughs> into the Landini, turns out the uh, the hydraulic, you know, the seals or stops or solenoids, whatever you want to fucking call it, the actual valves, got a little bit creep in them. So when I came into work this morning, I <laughs> opened the shed doors and I was like, ah, driver. <laughs> the, old tail- <laughs> the tailboard had creeped overnight. I was like, mm, that's three ton of grub on the floor. Fuck it. I got very, very good with a shovel today. Yeah. <laughs> very oh, fucking mate. good. On a hardcore floor of the straw barn. So it's like, oh yeah, that's food. Oh, that's rocks. Oh yeah, there, that. <laughs> that can't go through the organ system. Yeah, so uh, I know the pain of a, of a, of a leaky tailboard. Yeah, we've we've been covered a few times by bulkers and tanker waste. I, guess. I, I think the worst one I've been covered with was uh, shitty blood out of an abattoir down West Devon. It just it's got that smell to it, and it. Oh, I have blood that's, clots. That sweet smell of just oh, oh just rest sweet. Yeah, they eat, like rotting flesh has got like a sweet. Decom, uh, uh, decom no, this, has got like this a sweet. This was just blood. Just, just shit. Just yeah, vile, in, in a disgusting. tank with all the stringy bits in it. Oh. And I took it to a tip site. 
put my pump going to build the pressure up. So when I took my end cap off, I think there's I very few the people on. that actually know what we're talking about. But I can absolutely relate to yeah. what you're saying. It and is, the yeah. outlet valve was left open. So of course the pump's building the pressure in the tanker with about seven, <laughs> with about seven or eight ton of blood on, like rotting blood. Yeah. Pop the end cap off of the six inch outlet valve. It goes from like red to dark red to black, doesn't it? And that's... oh yeah, and it just as soon as I popped it, you got the pressure there. Don't get me wrong, the, the catch has caught the rest of the cat, but it just sprayed like a fucking fountain. Uh, I got covered. I oh, looked something out of the fucking out of a horror movie. I had, I had blood clot stripped off my fucking elbow. Yeah. And I, was like, oh. I was soaked. I put my bin, I put my clothes in a bin bag. <laughs> and when I got home that weekend, I put me in a big old fucking big lick tub. Yeah. Full of fucking like water and like fabric. Caustic and shit. Yeah. yeah. Anything just the, I know. left it in there for a week. Uh, and then you throw them away. Oh no, I washed them out three times. And even after that, they were still a bit pungent. Speaking as a serial killer, <laughs> protein remover tablets is what you need to get blood out. Otherwise, oh, I forgot you assassin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need uh, you need your protein. Anything like uh, so, like a uh, a pet hair dissolver or something mm. like that. That works really well for getting blood out of anything. Trust me. I know. <laughs> oh, I, got, I will explain off mic. <laughs> I, I got I got all the blood out. And you it, did. And but I, I've I've been coming like head to toe in sludge as well. Yeah, at, at that same avatar as well. Same thing. Fucking and. Outlet valve being left open. You think you'd learn after the first? Yeah. <laughs> well, the first one was the fucking sludge, but uh, what you say I that he went to live in a fucking caravan. <laughs> <laughs> What's he going to learn from? Fuck off already. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to reskin um, that drum you keep banging on or what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I've got your back. <laughs> Cheers, Rich. The first one over the sludge. I think that was because like, I woke a bloke up in the car park. Because I was still doing trailer changes at the abattoir about half 11 midnight. Right. And I think I woke him up, so I think he opened up the outlet valve. Because I oh. know I shut it after every load. Oh, fuck. We're talking Beastie Boys sabotage here. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker. So I've gone to his farm to go blow it in his lagoon. Same thing. Put the pump on, build the pressure up, pop the end cap like a fucking fountain everywhere. I had to fight through the shit to get the outlet valve to shut again. And I was, yeah, again, dripping. I drove back to the abattoir in a t-shirt and boxes. Looks done. Like, <laughs> I pulled up to the guardhouse and he's like, oh, can you come in and sign in? I was like, fucking <laughs> not a chance. Bring me the cat for a cat. <laughs> you, like, you come to me drive. Is this, what, like, is this when you were living at my place and you dropped your clothes oh, no, in the no, back no, of the car? No, 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 no. This is that was, was another time he left the outlet valve open. <laughs> no. Is that, that is... guy who was parked near him? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's a reoccurring <laughs> thing oh, here, no. I think. <laughs> Sorry, Dwayne, I'm naked again. No, this was when I was in with Daniel. Call me daddy. Yeah, I was in with Daniel at the time. And um, you were with Daniel, living with Daniel, <laughs> live with a lot of men, don't you? Yeah, a mm. lot of sofa surfing in my day, <laughs> <laughs> and that's grabbing by the sounds of it. <laughs> hey, cheap living. <laughs> <laughs> man's got to do what a man's got to do. <laughs> 20, 20 quid, 20, 20 quid. quid. <laughs> <laughs> the boys, <laughs> and oh, yeah, even like I'm like fucking like free baths of steamy water. Every time you like, it, oh, this is in the summer as well. It's of course start sweating, and you can smell it when you're sweating. Uh, it, yeah. yeah, it's the same it with fits like fucking weeks to get out of your skin. Always same double with, check like, your outlet taps. It's the same with like pigs and stuff. Pigs, if you're like a pig farmer, like I used to be, you could like shower three times and it still be in you because it gets into your pores, your pores, because like, yeah. like, yeah. it's like it's something like the fat in the air. Or there's something that pigs like emit like as a smell, and it just bonds to you, and it just. Stinks. <laughs> like after after he's, he's a pressure wash pig units out, he's come back. My yeah. missus at the time and just be like, and again, <laughs> and again, and again, in and out the shower like three times. She'd be like, you know what? Fuck it. Just take take the fairy liquid platinum with you, and we'll let you know how you Here's get. Is a dishwasher tablet? Yeah. Rub that down. What you need <laughs> <laughs> is when you build your extension, the fucking sauna. What? If, and if then I you can sweat the term, it all out. It's what you need in here, <laughs> oh, yeah. Once more. <laughs> oh, fuck it up. You anyway. put a sauna on, you can sweat it all out. Job done. JR Tree and Land Services. That's all I'm saying, boys. Yeah. <laughs> you on, might JR. be able to build your house as well, not a fucking caravan. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Marlon. <laughs> what about yourself, Dwayne? How has your week been? Less shitty and bloody, I hope. It was a lot less shitty and bloody. <laughs> a lot less shitty and bloody. So, the yeah, most of the week has been absolute grand. I cannot fault any of it. 
It's been great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, glass up to the north. Um, and then it's been basically fiber foss back down to the south, really. Um, and it's just been that continuous up until today. And today was doing local pallet work in an old lorry with no air con. And the pallets went everywhere. Not because of my bad driving, just because of people who do, do not know how to stack pallets. I yeah, they, to they got that ticket and they think they're a fucking the kitty. I'm like, a it's, certified fault. It's not just that. Like the hub, you wouldn't know because you just deal with blood and shit and piss. <laughs> but like you go into these Maybe hubs and I shit you not. It's like these little minions on faultless and they're just fucking. My boy? There's, yeah, there's, there's no. There is, there is no sense of coordination. Like I've seen them crash into each other multiple times and they're like, you're right. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, just carry on then. And like <laughs> pick the pallet up. Oh, that looks all right. Yeah, load it onto the trailer. They do not give a fuck. And they'll load shit on top of stuff that shouldn't have stuff loaded on it. And it's just, it's absolutely... Anyone you've got see the one, one speed it's got as that well. big sign the big on the Big sign top. on it that says, do not stack. And they go... <laughs> Squash <laughs> the fuck out of it. They're like, banana! <laughs> <laughs> but it's on the trailer. Yeah, that they are they are the epitome of if it's on, <sighs> and it's now gone. It's on your yeah. responsibility. Yeah, that's it. It's your fuck up. The moment it's on there, <laughs> you've thrown the straps over. Can you... Um, like decline it if they stack it if they put like a shitload of do not stacks on do not stacks can you go I'm not I'm not taking it yeah but the problem is I don't want to spend any more time in the Midlands than I have to so <laughs> just ratchet, ratchet over squash the entire lot it's safe I'm fucking on and gone drive I'm getting the fuck out of here Absolutely. are you current insider I, I'm uh, everything I'm right. everything I say everything. Like yeah, anyone who knows is like, you can't, you only do bulk of work. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Bulkers and curtains, that's all you do. Bulkers, yeah, we got a couple of flats as well. Not that they I've ever come out. I've never seen you pull a flat. Well, no, not there because I'm always on a bulker. Exactly. But, yeah, we got flats as well. But yeah, the pallets are. <laughs> Bad boy. It's just one of them. They've only got one speed as well, forklift drivers. They just don't want to get on. Do you think? Oh, rush a good job, all right? I'll You've been down to a builder's go, merchant. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, if you want to go somewhere, go to Credit and Dairy. Yeah. Oh my God! Fuck! I was in there. there this morning. Loaded. I was loaded the sludge out of there about the waste. They let a Gregory's lorry in about ten minutes before I was finished, and I was still sat there another twenty-five minutes waiting for them to unload, and they still had to fucking reload the bastard as well. Shag, if you want to see a slow forklift driver. Come Watch up you. my farm, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and see me with a JCB with pallet forks on on a stone yard that is on a six degree, <laughs> six degree incline. Look at the fucking to... specifics here. Oh, I tell, I tell you, when I've got unloads uh, seventeen one and a half ton pallets, and each one's worth about three grand, uh, I'm and I'm all unlevel, and every time I move forward, the the forks do this, and then they do that, and then they go up, and they go down. And I if failed I... my telehandler course because I didn't get like. It's the the what do you call it like the leveling right? Yeah, but it's because it's, it's, you you know, you got to have that so far and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, t- I tell you what, like <laughs> shit gun. If if you're on like anyone will know if you're driving a telehandler and you're unloading like a lorry with pallets on, where <laughs> so exactly where the bed of a lorry is is exactly where you cannot see the tips of your fucking forks. Yep, <laughs> it ah, is. That's why they're going like that, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. You, yeah, yeah. you go in like that and you try not to, and then you get the fucking lorry driver. Don't dig up my bed. You're like, oh, fucking shit, up a little bit. And well, you help me out then, you yeah, fucking. Not, and yeah, then man. these safe. Don't just stand the, there and watch me fucking struggle. Watch me in. And then these, <laughs> guide me into the, the holes. Co- the common lorry driver. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're in the lorry now. Well, I know that. No, you've gone through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just watch it happen. Yeah, fine. It's yeah. when they fuck up my brand new bulkers. That's what I get pissed off about. Fucking honestly, it, it drives me fucking wild. And you're there, the, <laughs> your man's just in the cab with the curtains round, you know, he's scrolling through the hub and I'm like, I'm, I'm there like trying to hang out the side window, but keep enough pressure on the seat so it doesn't say, <laughs> no operator, neutral selected. Like, it's like, <laughs> oh, shit. And he's like, see, he's that's like, why you want an old Merlot. <laughs> <sighs> do you know what? Well, no. to be fair, I ain't got a fucking no. aircon now at the moment. So <laughs> maybe I fucking do. Maybe I do. Maybe, maybe it'd be easier just have the thing set fire, you know? <laughs> so if you want that just buy a John Deere telly handler God, they still they still make them do they no I remember my, my old boss I used to work for a contractor down uh, Devon Way and yeah they had a classic fucking John Deere yeah, telly handler and never, that thing that was set itself alight pretty sure they were built by John Deere themselves they weren't like yeah. farmed out were they no, like they weren't. Fr- they, they were fucking class, wank 
Really? I was telling you that they were shit. I never drove one, but I knew somebody that had one and he never had a good word to say about the, it. I drove the, New I've Holland. Never never there's, there's, only a, oh. there's only a couple of ha- I handlers that I rate, which is going to be Manitou, machinery, man, JCB really. and Kramer. Kramer have actually come up, come up yeah, there. Yeah, I drove a Kramer the other day. I actually wasn't, I wasn't insulted by it. I thought it was fairly decent machine yeah. overall but yeah anyway absolutely mad telehandler chat going on, on the podcast <laughs> today, boys. just to clarify as well when I failed this telehandler course I literally just left school no, no chat. <laughs> well, I've done I, mine when I was in college <laughs> now yeah, yeah, I, went, yard, I went around the fourth like hey, get on there chat. <laughs> yeah. I passed my telehandler t- test and I drove over a trailer hitch with the back wheels <laughs> How the fuck what? did he manage that? They, oh, they were just like shag them, and more people that pass, the more fun than we get. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> are so safe. You get a ticket, and you get yeah, a ticket. Everybody gets a ticket. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, like Oprah. He didn't give a shit. I wish I was with that guy. Yeah, he was <laughs> just great. Literally, just like yeah, yeah, you'd be all right. You did drive over that hitch. I was like, yeah, like didn't, didn't, even, oh, didn't notice it. What the hell? Proof? I mean, the one thing I did do on my test was uh, like. With the crab steer, like trying to load with the bucket like, oh, along the wall. Oh, crab steer is fucking horrible. I, I've, oh, nev- I love I've, it. I've never used it. Have you not? Ne- no, never oh, used it. Oh, it's a game changer. No, my, it's a my, fucking game he changer. He thinks he's fucking heavy D rolling down the road like that. Uh, fucking. Crab, oh, no, not on the fucking road. That's scary. Crab steer. <laughs> If you're unless you're like if you're doing grain work or whatever, I get it. But like yeah. you're pushing grain up, but like if you're in and out, in and out, like oh, oh no, yeah, you want your four wheel steering. Oh yeah, you do. And you yeah. say, when, you, when you're pushing grain up or loading at the grain store, then you want your crab steering. Yeah, same. Like if you've worked yourself <coughs> up tight against the wall, yeah, flicker in the crab and just drive off like that. Everyone listening at the minute is like, what the fuck? No, no, no. They're, you forget we th- there are some farmers that listen, believe it or not, actually quite a substantial amount. So just when we don't talk about lorries for five minutes or Big mechanics, yeah, so there are the boys that actually know their Marlon. Don't you worry. Anyway, sorry, we've absolutely fucking on, driven on. Marlanis, how has your week been? Uh, yeah, it's been full of ups and downs, really, mate. Yeah. Uh, like, busy as hell on the tools this week. Again? Yeah. Fucking hell. You yes. Look- there, we got too much work going on. It's fucking unreal at the minute. Cannot keep up. Um, also, also, how hot has it been this fucking week? Oh, oh geez. Like hot. I said, today being in a lorry with no air con, with pallets that fell over, doing handballs. Oh, you can get fucked. Oh, you were handballing as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Like the boys, there was, there was about three or four boys at this place I was delivering to in, uh, in Marsh Barton, Exeter. And they saw the pallet go over and they're like, I'm like, looking at them, you can help? And they're like, no. <laughs> yeah. It's so a, that's when shit starts flying. It's it's been hot. Fucking hot. Yeah, are we just, is that just your point? That it's I been hot? can, like, a bit like you, I expect you've struggled a little bit this week. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I've really Because really I know struggled. you You are a little bit of a bitch in the heat. I am. No, I said that. I, I'm becoming degrees, the same. Tools down. I'm going home. End of story. It Unless was... I'm in a cab with eight Garacon, I'm not outside working in 28 degree heat. I'm going home. I had the infrared gun out earlier just to see what it was doing. On one of the walls, it was 29 degrees. Jeez. I was like, shut I'm just going to sit down for five minutes. I got to. I got to. It's just, it's too much, isn't it? It yes. wouldn't have bothered me with the aircon seats and all that in, yeah. in my unit, yeah, but same. being this wanky old, like, Scania, I was looking at him like, did he break it? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, no, what the fuck's it? Sorry, Alex just poured a pint that's like half head, but we turned the cooler off. Well, the because... fact that when he poured it, he was like turning the handle was, I'm like, well, no, trying to do jack it off and pour a pint. Loose. Oh yeah, the, the, the <laughs> tap head's loose, that's all. I got home earlier. Go on. I looked out my patio doors. Next door's gone up for sale. No, fuck off. I've lived there eight years. I've probably seen the cunts twice. They've never complained. Yeah, to be fair, we've made some fucking noise around your yard. Yeah. Like, I've seen them twice. Maybe three times. I am. Um, so what I've done at the minute, I've set the Alexa. The Alexa is playing country music all the time You're up until 11 those, o'clock. You horrible bastard. I don't want them to leave. Yeah. Don't leave me. Maybe treat them better. I think she's just old as fuck, isn't she? No, oh, not that next door. Oh, fuck. Outside the patio oh, next door. Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, Marlon, you're in for a world of pain. It's better the devil you know, mate. It's, it really yeah, exactly. is. Like, they've never complained. Never see them. That's why there's country music playing from 8 o'clock in the morning till 11 o'clock on Alexa. 
Do you have it that loud? Fair, Sh- Shag, you don't even need to do that. They're just gonna they're gonna come on that driveway, look over the fence, look at your fucking garden with all your cars <laughs> and your fucking smokers and all this shit, and just go fuck no <laughs> fucking way. I don't want to meet them in the time of living here for at least two times. I'd say like, <laughs> just a, a simple way, real simple, right? On your your French doors that face that house. I'm a cunt. No, just no? just God hates fags. That's it. Done. <laughs> That's all you need. And that were that no one, no one is buying that fucking house. Or uh, that's not I hadn't or thought of putting a sticker. Flip on. side, flip side, just trans rights for all, just LGBT flag on a flagpole. You can go either way with this. Or you could do the stepbrothers thing. You want a whole lot of fertilizer? I got a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey friends I dressed up as Hitler <laughs> you and a Ku Klux Klan one yeah, it's cheap in the hedge Everybody, you love this neighbourhood everybody recycles <laughs> <laughs> I cannot hang a swastika out the, out the rear window no uh, yeah, I don't know if you're pushing it but yeah no, I mean you can, you can I mean you yeah, can you can get creative with this you could get oh we could get I, I never real. thought of that I was just being basic bitch no, put country music on no Cole, no you know what to do just, just hang out the Alabama <laughs> flag instead you, yeah, you could just, yeah, the fucking, the, the don't tread on me flag and just, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like, oh, you have a, one a, of those. Confederate flag and whatever else and let's go Brandon. Yeah, you fucking. DPRC okay. flag. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to order a flagpole tomorrow. I, Seven I, footer? I was banned from having a flagpole. She wouldn't let me have one. She was like, no. Well, oh, I don't, a, mate, my, don't ask. Just, just ask do. for forgiveness. Oh, well, you're one of those yeah, fuckers. It's Sometimes easier it's easier. Than it is yeah. to ask permission. Yeah, I was going to have like a little flag. By the that, time it's up, Chief won't even notice anyway. Well, because half my fucking mates live on the estate. So the plan was when I'm going to have like a... like a Oh, that, like, like a, a bat signal. Yeah, like a Budweiser flag or whatever, or a Thatcher's flag. When the flag is raised, the piss is <laughs> on! <laughs> when it's half I mass, wouldn't, I wouldn't need we to do run this out of gas. fucking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it's half mass, please somebody go get us a cake. Yeah. <laughs> But half mass, we have no beers. Full <laughs> yeah. mass, party on. <laughs> when it's on fire, we gone too late. <laughs> Literally. Oh, mate. So yeah, you've uh, that's a, the whole world of possibilities, there, mate. Mate, it's a three bed semi. It's a family's going to move in, aren't they? Yeah, and they are going to. You can do a lot of semi. screaming baby. <laughs> oh yeah. I yeah drive you you're in trouble that's all i'm gonna say yeah, I, I know i that's why i think shit's gonna go down so but it's one of those things like that place was up for sale for like three years before it actually sold That's because no one wanted to deal with a bitch uh no one wanted to well they hit that and then be like oh what's what's all those kegs in that man's garden <laughs> nothing <laughs> touching the night <laughs> <laughs> not even good as gold oh yeah fun yeah fun, fun, fun. yeah that's my week mayor really well, mm. we're nearly at an hour, so let's cut to a break and uh, fucking... Send you to the fridge, or... Do all that shit. Yeah, well, actually, no, we're probably going to go outside and have cigarettes. It's so fucking hot in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was nice it outside. Very, 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 very <laughs> moist in here, and not even in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll uh, be back in a minute. Ciao! Love you. Bye-bye. Got unscrew it to lift it up. Don't need to. Shut up, Alex. <laughs> you're still sexy. Right, um, and you still live. We haven't island. sent you to the fridge. No, we haven't sent me to the fridge. You haven't got any shot glasses though. I don't have any full stop, mate. We're just gonna have to Fuck do that shots shot out, out of this bottle, baby. Let's go out of this gorgeous pint glass. If anyone can see it. Um, oh, yeah. I, I want to keep that. Give me it. No, you can't no, have it. It's it hasn't mine. got it's your got name. My name on it. I don't care. Fuck. Big, up, big up to uh, Josh Jennings for uh, giving us some custom engraved pint glasses for the bar. It's got gorgeous shag on one side and the. The, the hoodie logo, the cross logo of In The Doggest Podcast uh, Certified Scumbag with my name on it. So big shout out to Josh Jones for that. But anyway, more of a shout out to the sponsor of this episode, JR Tree and Land Services, Marlanus. Right? Yes, Daddy. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that was a bit of a curveball. Uh, <laughs> it's not his usual go-to. If you had a look at your eyes, Please you're don't thinking, pull the pin. With, have you seen, <laughs> I'm, playing with a, I'm playing with a grenade at the moment, actually. Um, have you, have like you Russian looked, roulette, but have, everyone have you looked, <laughs> where no one fucking wins. Have you looked at house prices and the interest rates at the moment, mate? Uh, obviously, uh, next door's gone up for sale. Yeah. I've looked at that. It's, and that is strong money for what it is. Scary time um, to be alive, mate. 
the interest rates absolutely hideous. So, so you're, you're, you're like me. You're in your house. You're living. You're thinking, oh, let's do another fucking bedroom. A little bit more space downstairs. Maybe extend that kitchen. You, Instead of fucking buying a new house, what would you on do? Tea, mate. What would you, you have do? to extend. Just extend the fucking thing, right? It's easy. You've got the fucking... If you're going to get planning, let's just be honest. You're going to get planning to do it. That's not the issue. The issue is, is finding a decent, reliable bloke to do the groundwork, the building, and just about everything else. Who would you hit up? I would hit our JR Land and Tree Services. Close, tree and land. <laughs> <laughs> you just cunt. The tree goes in the ground, doesn't it? This is why I don't this do the This is why you don't do the trees. <laughs> Drive, he's going to do it all from fucking ground, fr- from subsoil to tiles. He dig Top it out. To finish. Dig it out. He's going to turn, he's going to turn up the one and a half ton, the dumper. He's going to dig it out, string line, concrete, all the way up to the fucking tiles, all the way down to fitting the bastard kitchen. The man's going to do the whole lot. So he ain't got to worry about getting ground workers in and then get your fucking boys in that are going to do your brick laying and then the boys in that are going to do the skim. Your man's just going to take care of all of that for you. Literally the whole damn lot. So if you're looking at extension work, a remodel, anything like that, hit up your man, JR Tree and Land Services. Don't let the name fool you. He does everything. As we've said. Everything in between. Three weeks in a row now, there is a lot more than tree and land going on there, or land and tree, as Marlon would say. <laughs> JR, do you reckon you could fit a couple of tiles to a roof? I know a man who, who needs some work. <laughs> There's a man that might need it. It's about finding the tiles first, unfortunately. If anyone has any tiles, I'm actually going to post them up in the story. <laughs> do you know what? Because I, I might still have some available for you. find the fucking tiles. Are they the double ridge ones? So, no, it's, a, it's an end tile. I'll send you a picture. I'll send you a fucking yeah, just, picture. Just send me a picture. I might have some other camera. Well, I'll, I'll put this on the... Just, I'll just on hit up JR. I'll, are you faffing? <laughs> yeah. Because they don't make them anymore. He could make them. He could make them. He could you make don't know them. Or if you anybody does with everything a 3D else. printer... <laughs> just give me a shout, please, because I really... I Hold on. I don't Who's want... got a free, 3D printer? Yeah. Hello, my yeah, sexy Yeah, not big man. enough. Not big enough um, pan. Ah. Uh, oh, all right. Sorry, Jilo. Right, Marlon. <laughs> what are we doing instead of beer of the week? Uh, we are doing say it or shot it. Oh, it's back. Let's fucking go, baby! And uh, awesome thanks to Dwayne O'Connor here, who requested. The well, I've never tried it before. Fucking buck I'm, a, I'm a curious uh, human. Shit. Except for with children. Pick up my bucky boys. Yeah, so I hate some, it. I some fucking hate it. But fast tonic wine here. This is going to be even with sh- orange juice. It tastes shit. Right. What, what's going to be our question then, Marlon? You're the man that put the story right. up. So, um, we've got two questions. So, we've got two rounds. Okay, two rounds. Right, the first one comes from uh, DRZ Mason. Oh, yeah. He always comes up with some blinders. Weirdest place you've had sex? Oh, I, I've said it in the last episode. The, yeah, yeah, so you So, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to say it again for the sake of the listeners, so I'm just going <laughs> to fucking, I'm, I'm just going to shot it. You know what the funny thing hey, was? Right? I'll let, we'll tell you a little one. Uh, it's quite funny. You know when I told that story more. and I said, on, no, that's, more. that's, oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's enough. You know when I said more. it in the last episode and I said, oh, fucking wife's going to kill me for this one. Yeah. I don't know who it was. Somebody clipped that. No. And put, and put it on their story. I don't I know, know who it was. It. Please say they auto tuned it. <laughs> I get a text off the wife and it wasn't the story itself it was just like I'm going to get so much shit for this she said she texted me what what's you, this what are you going to get in shit for I was like remember that time you were dressed up as Pocahontas and I was dressed up as <laughs> Miss Your Candy with all your feathers everywhere blew your back out on the, on the crossroads down by the farm she was like yeah I was like just told that story she's like <laughs> legend <laughs> let's fucking go doll <laughs> right Alex <laughs> oh, it can't be that bad, surely. You shouldn't. It's made by monks. You don't gotta give a fuck who it's made by. It tastes like shit. You're the monks did it down inside school. Oh, I'm just gonna yeah. say because I don't want to fucking show it. to children. A fucking bush. They fed them mead. A bush. A bush. I mean, you had sex literally in a hedge. Yes. It, uh, what, like in the verge, or just like? Oh no, no, no! It's done a pathway. It. Done a pathway like behind a the hedges. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Do I know? There was a lot of white stuff. Was it the weirdest place? <laughs> weirdest had? place you've had sex? He's rather tame. His bed. <laughs> I don't know. The weirdest place. Probably a tent. That's not that weird though, is That's it? Not that weird, That's not that weird. Oh, I lost my virginity in a fucking tent. Uh, you need that. <laughs> oh no, I was going to drink anyway. I, yeah. I was the one who wanted to try it. I can't even think of a weird place. It looks like fucking tar. It does, doesn't it? It doesn't look like wine. 
on public transport. Is that weird? What? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, quite weird, yeah. Yeah, actually, <laughs> weirdly. <laughs> Alex is choking on the side there. That's like, quite weird, is yeah. That, is that weird? Why, why do I, I find it... that normal? <laughs> oh, See, off. Is it... Are we, are we not gonna? You're not. You're not gonna give us any more elaboration on that story. Give it here. Just, just give me some. Fucking just, 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 just try give it. Me, give me some. Go on. Give me some. Come so on. for what I'm was the listeners who talk. know Sidmouth, it has a. Uh, it has Donkey a. Donkey sanctuary. It has a, <laughs> 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 Can't, I'm never going to compete with those bastards. Oh, going up there. Stinks. That smells fucking rancid. That is actually delicious. I don't know what you boys are fucking cracking yeah, on. I don't about. think you meant to drink it like that, but yeah. Anyway. Well, so, well anyway, what, the public. So Simmouth has a uh, like a bus. I want to say like a bus store. Yeah. That's where they keep a few buses. Uh, oh, like a depot. Yeah, kind of. But it's at a that. um, it's at a place called Potbury's, which is an auction site, and they keep they keep the buses there, and uh, after a night out. In the local club, which was called Karina's, big up Karina's, Mandy, you fucking legend. Um, we used what to come up on a night was... out, pissed up, and we'd be like, "Let's go fuck with the buses." <laughs> and if you press <laughs> the emergency, that is open... the most south of England thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, Let's fuck go all... fuck with the buses. There's, there's fuck all going Southwest on, is it? It's just like farming in the sea. That's it. And seagulls, you <laughs> fucking cunts. I hate seagulls. I saw a one-legged one today and laughed. It's great. Uh, anyway, moving on. So the buses have got like a, an emergency open door button. Yeah, that's what I was, so going, I was, I was about to say. Did you go yeah, up to yeah. it and press the fucking so emergency press, open? So press the emergency open door button, go in and just fuck around. And I did a bit more than fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just fucking banged on a bus. You just added to the stain on those seats. Yeah, I was like... I ain't gonna fucking know. No, it's literally never gonna. Forgetting just... that the whole thing is riddled with CCTV, but nothing came of it, so it's all good. We're all grand. Oh, it's only last week. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely wasn't last week. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, I'm gonna say your that. your fucking your sexual juices are only just gonna add to hobo shit and alcoholic piss, isn't it? You know. <sighs> Set the scene. Set um, that scene. I mean, does <laughs> it does it I'll count though? Like it was. Not public transport. Well, at it, the is time. Public trans- it is, it is public but it transport. isn't. But it's not moving public transport. So it, it was. Be at, fair, it, it's pretty. It, it was. It was it's off peak. the fucking bush, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was off peak, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you got day pass. <laughs> <laughs> Five pound, yeah. Uh, all right, Marlon. What about you? Uh, probably. He's a dark horse, my Marlon. You never know. Of, he keeps his cars close to his he chest. He does. Top, know, of, top of the quarry got caught by police. <laughs> Give me the bucket. <laughs> Give me the bucket. <laughs> what local local disused quarry? Yeah. <laughs> caught by police. <laughs> <laughs> they just give it a big rap on yes. the windows. Yep. Ah. <sighs> yeah. All the windows steamed up in the sack, so mind. Oh. Uh, what are oh. you doing there? What uh, does it fucking oh. look like, Drive? <laughs> Hold on, I might have another one here, actually. Nothing, nothing, officer. Yeah, you've already said, George, you shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you yeah, done fucked up. Um, I've got a uh, disperse order. Oh, disperse, oh, you're not allowed to back in the uh, area of 24 not, hours? Yeah, not allowed in the in the postcode of the vicinity for... for 24 hours? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, the next one is from Man Cave Bartender. Oh, Yes! Have you ever fancied a cartoon character? If so, who? Oh, that's a fucking Fucking good make one, the green m M&M and sexy again! <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a random vagina. Thank you for sharing, Clark. I'll go first. Yeah. I love Twitter. <laughs> Jessica fucking rabbit. Oh! Oh, yes, I will oh. 100% agree with you on that because that is what I was that fucking is, saying. That is an absolute Whoa. honey. She is stunning. Yes, I totally agree with that one. Oof. Um, um, I, bet, I, can't, I can't even fucking I can't even declare. Stop Yow. showing me weird <laughs> Try to do a podcast Stop showing me pornography Alex <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I'm a horny boy <laughs> Everyone else is looking at each other like mm, who's Shut next? the fuck up Alex <laughs> Well everyone was probably uh, set on that So like oh, yeah, so We're all just like yeah Alright okay oh. Um, I can't think of an, any other No wait, it's, But the thing is it's like Oh yeah fuck it Mrs. Incredible with that absolute... Oh, <laughs> she got that bunda! Fucking... God damn! She needs a banksman for that absolute dump truck of her ass. <laughs> oh, shit. What is it with Disney Pixar? Watch out, kids. Vehicle reversing. All their mums well, with to... the fucking ass. It has to appeal to two different audiences. It does, yeah. That's the thing, because you take the kids to see the film and then Danny's there like... Mum's <laughs> thick. Fucking Jesus Did you Christ. see it, Mrs. Incredible? Fucking right, I did. 
<laughs> shit, mummy. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, man, that's, that's, yeah, definitely. Miss is incredible. What the fuck are you playing out with that thing? What was the other one? Oh, fuck. There was a... Mm. Minions. Ooh. Hey, I said mine, actually. I don't know why I'm digging myself more of a hole. <laughs> Red just wanks the CITV. Pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make that a sound for fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to get fucking clipped, Come back isn't it? Come to SMTV, like. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, they call me Savile at the cartoon world. <laughs> Mona, who was it you said again? Jessica Rabbit. I'm going to say uh, Lola Bunny out of Space Jam. You can't. Oh, that was mine. Oh, that was mine. Yes. Not about her. Coming in fucking <laughs> hot. I like it. Yeah, boy. Oh, Dwayne, you've been we left with a fucking... <laughs> we can share. A, a shit hat. I'll tell you what. That fucking, I got if, nothing left If button. you're struggling, I'm just going to... I don't know. Sexy cartoon characters? I'm going to put the VPN on. Hang on. <laughs> Hold tight. I can't think of any. You're probably like, going to put that woman out of fucking Balamori. Mainly because I'm not into like, you know, oh, the whole a, anime a Safe shit. surf is off. A safe, <laughs> safe, <laughs> safe surf <laughs> is off. Yeah, there you go. The, the top two are literally Jessica Rabbit and the local rabbit. Of course they are. Why is it with rabbits it, as well? well? Yeah. And also, why is a rabbit like... No, I'm not going to go into that. No. The rabbit dildo? <sighs> yep, there it is. Yep. <laughs> why is it in pop cartoon If you mum? were going to say, I fucking was. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Lois Griffin. Nah. Oh, nah, no. nah, nah, nah. Nah. I don't know why people get... She's all... the reason Deep Throat happened. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Like, I don't know why people get all twisty about that. <laughs> oh, shit. I got it. Dexter's mum. Oh, she had the, yeah, yes. she had a bunda. What is going on? She what had is a up bunda. Dexter's lab. Dexter's mum. Fuck yeah. Man, I, 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 Mama got gain. Fuck you know. You could put a pint glass on that absolute shelf of an ass. I reckon she could flip it and keep the content inside. I reckon she could. You know, fucking hell. People actually cosplay as her. Fucking look at that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Gotta have the right ass though. That's oh true. shit! You gotta have that itty bitty waist with a big thing round in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Completely wrong <laughs> fucking lyrics, but you know it, so we, it doesn't matter. We're just, we're just on it. We're just on so it. We cleared up that absolute shit show. Well, well, just I couldn't well, even well, think of one. So give me some more bucket. I well, guess. All uh, oh, oh, right. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. However, will oh. you cope? Yoink. <laughs> give Give me the nasty deliciousness just give, just give him the bottle just you can have the bottle <laughs> no right? don't give him the bottle no don't well I don't know we got another 50 minutes he, he'd be good don't drink the whole thing we've had people send it too hard and had to cut the fucking episode short please don't do that no you can enjoy it just don't get fucked I, up I haven't had one yet so just, uh, just I feel a bit of it the, smells like cough syrup I just hate it <laughs> I actually really like that it, but then I always like the things it that is like, like the real fucking like shit cough syrup <laughs> <laughs> that's slightly addictive I feel a bit fucking. I don't know. I've, I've, I just a bit hate of a weird, it. Bit of a strange question. I, I feel. I feel a bit exposed about how fast I went to make the green M M&M and M sexy again. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you not seen this? Green M M&M and M used to be sexy, and then they like desexified. Uh, make the... it was. It was a female M M&M, and M, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know why it was? She had the big lashes, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what it was. I'm pretty sure. The old umbrellas. See, I don't what, get uh, the big lashes all the time. Fuck me. Some girls look really could... fucking nice. One other ones like <laughs> nope. Shag, you can buy a hat on Etsy that says make the green m M&M sexy again. <laughs> <laughs> buy it, bitch. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, they literally fucking neutered the bitch. She went from fucking knee highs to fucking converses. What is going on? Oh, that's I don't know. Modern. It's, 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 it's still sexy as shit. That's this fucking this the state of this country, right? We can't even have a sexy <laughs> M&M anymore. All right, right. Keith, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna push up on over there. Right. right. Yeah, right, right. Just... <laughs> we spent 10. Oh my God. Thanks, Marin Cave bartender, for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, cheers for that. Thanks the for letting us taste amazing. We can dig our own graves here. I'm glad I went last. You bunch of cunts. <laughs> There's no need to expose anything about us. It's all on record. <laughs> <laughs> fucking 250 hours on Spotify. We are take, who we are. Take your fucking Take us or leave us. No one cares. Yeah. Um, so. You've just come back from quite a fucking cool trip, haven't you? One of, the, well, it is the most prestigious motorcycle racing events in the world. So, it, I assume both of you have been riding for a substantial amount of time? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've... Uh... No, Alex is still on a 125. <laughs> oh, 
He should be. <laughs> uh, so I, I've been riding. So basically, I took, I took my driving test at what the fuck? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, yeah. seventeen. <laughs> Fucking that Bucky's hitting in hard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah, a vicious t- t- took my driving test at seventeen, and then as soon as I was eighteen, I put in for my uh, my bike license. Jesus! And what yeah, did your yeah. parents have to say about that? Uh, they all rode. Even my mum. Yeah, my mum and dad. Well. My mum, my mum, my mum used to ride. Obviously, she's fucking dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but my dad what? rides. Yeah, but I've often spoken to like people whose parents are riders, and they're like, yeah, no, yeah. no, do not mm-hmm. get a license because out there is not like it used to be. There, people are fucking idiots, and they're fucking That's right, it. and they were fine yeah. with it. See, my old man, he used the. Uh, I don't know if you remember it, Orchard FM. Yeah, fucking big up Orchard one FM. Yeah. Two point six. Well, my my yeah. old man was the uh, Blackbird Thunder Biker. Oh! Yep. <laughs> Simon Clark. Where's that horn button? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> <hell. laughs> that, fuck what me. That, that is the like that is the X factor. Uh so <laughs> this, this is this is my uh my boy and he's uh blind and autistic. Simon Cow. <laughs> <laughs> he was so, a thunder biker. Yeah, my old man was the thunder biker. Oh my god. Well I've Fucking what? Oh, Learn I, something new every day. <laughs> Reg's mind is blown. Yeah. On, what the fuck is Orchard I'll, FM? I'll find a photo quickly. What the fuck? Oh, Marlon trying to work out what buttons what. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I had an absolute pause in the podcast here while I just lose my fucking mind. <laughs> no fucking way. He was a thunder biker. Remind me what he used to do. Just fuck about, didn't you, I? You used to do road shows and all the traffic reports. That's right, traffic. traffic yeah, they reports. would go over to the Thunder Biker for the traffic report. That job's fucked, Shag. <laughs> then they realised, oh, we can just get people to message in where there's traffic jams and do it for fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah. Poor man. Is he alright? Is he okay? He still got a job? Yeah, he's an MAD police officer now. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> he used to be based on it at Air Base. Nah, to be fair. Obviously, I know this. He's a good lad. Good man. Well, I'm for Orchard Leathers as well. Yeah. Holy No way. Shit. He had, like, sponsored leathers? Yeah, it was all um, done by VJNS in Bridgewater. Well, I'm fucked. I've I've really, I've, I've you have got the today? same nose as him. Hold on. I'll, I'll, <laughs> let me, let me <laughs> what a weird fucking... <laughs> hang hang you on, you hang on. You didn't let me finish. Big as fuck. Hold on, let me find the other fucking photo there. <laughs> fuck. I wasn't going to say it. So your parents would chill with you having a bike license? You, Dwayne. Get off your fucking phone. <laughs> sorry. I, 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 sorry. Fuck sake, Dwayne. Sorry, I, was like, I, was, I was trying to find a nice photo of my dad, but I couldn't find one. Um, sorry, you what was the question? <laughs> I said, you, oh, fuck it. Jeez, like pulling fucking teeth. Your parents are the riders, they had no objections. No, 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 they had no objections, no. So when, yeah. when I got my license, uh, my stepdad used to ride, my mother used to ride, my uncle used to ride. He was probably the the biggest inspiration as to getting into riding because he put me on the back of his ZX10 and scared the fuck out of me. And I was yep. like, that was cool. I'm going to do that. So, uh, yeah, went and got me license at 18. From there, I... so it, What can you ride at 18? So you're... It, it, so this, this is where it all gets a bit, like, complicated because at the time, I... It was the time when they started bringing in variations of how to get your license. So yeah. when, so when I got my license, I had to do, um, I had to do three different different things. So I had to do three um, different things. I had to do another theory test. I had to do a a one one part of your license or one part of your test, which was in a cage, which is where you did like your maneuvers and things like that, emergency braking. Sw- you had to do a swerve test. And then when it came to the second part, that was just road riding. So signaling, you know, mirror checks, knowing your road signs and, yep. and following orders through the, uh, the comms. So when I did it, I, <clears throat> and that was also, I had to, it was a restricted license. Yeah. Uh, which I believe at the time was, it was, it was restricted to 34 <laughs> brake horsepower. Yay. So, uh, fuck you. Well, that's um, all you can get then. At your age. <laughs> yeah, that's that's basically all I could do. So, and there was two different ways of doing that, depending on which kind of bike you had. So if you had like an older bike, which was carburetors, you <laughs> could put a... Um, a little restrictor plate in. Yeah, ring piece, like, <laughs> pieces. <laughs> <laughs> but literally... But that's literally what they are. Yeah. They are ring pieces. You put like these ring pieces into carburetors, which is re- restricts the fuel yeah. from coming through, which, which would bring... <laughs> I mean, I don't know how accurate it was, but it would bring it down to a certain restriction that you would be categorized in the 34 brake horsepower region. Yeah. So it wasn't like 
like on a quad bike, we just do the screw up a bit on the thumb throttle. It was no, actually no, like no, an actual no. thing that yeah, was yeah. like integral. But if you had uh, an injector engine, then it would be on the throttle. So similar kind of thing. So basically, and <laughs> oh I, no! However, will I undo <laughs> this posi drive? <laughs> well, to, I'm not that mechanically minded, so I uh, I, I had, didn't know what a screwdriver was. <laughs> and I, I, and I, I mean, <laughs> I did have to fix your indicator for you. No, it just kept falling out. No, the wiring. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I then went from, so I had a, it was a ZXR 400, which is a relatively old bike. I think it was a 1994. Uh, really, re- a kind of quite a cool retro bike. Um, the air intake was uh, basically hoses that came through the front fairing and came into like the tank. Yeah. And uh, very square. It, this, this bike also was my mother's. Um, I oh, bought, nice. I, I bought it off me, mum, because she kept crashing the fucking thing. Yeah, my um, mum dropped a V Max. <laughs> <laughs> my Typical dad was fucking, fucking woman. wild. <laughs> she got a Virago a week later. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, I bought that off of her for I think I bought it off of her for a grand. Uh, we did like so we stripped the whole thing. So we took the fairings off, like rebuilt the engine. I say rebuild, didn't have to rebuild it. We just stripped it down because we could. Uh, put it back together. New had gaskets, the, nice. Paint, yeah, et yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, took the fairings to a friend of. Uh, the family get re resprayed. It was done in the 2010 uh, ZX10 uh, color codes, so it was like really nice mint green. Pick up Alex having a big old jam over here, um, and it was a really really nice bike. Really really nice bike um, for anyone who knows the that sort of age of 400 cc motorcycles. They were absolute screamers. And they rev to like 17,000. What RPMs. year is he? 94, you say? I think she was a 94. Yeah. What's that? Like an M Ridge? Is that M? 94? You're, yeah. You're MN. Sh- yeah. yeah. It would be, wouldn't it? Um, Starting start a P3. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so that's so sad I am. That's so sad I am. How's, oh, how's your P3 in Ridge? Fucking dead man. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's price. Get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in that Jewish racing gold. But uh, yeah, so the bike. It was an uh, absolute minter, absolute minter. So yeah, I bought it for a grand. We did everything like properly, rebuild. The, the, the spray was done for a friend, so it was done cheap. Um, I had that for, I want to say two years. Sold it on. Uh, got more money for it than I paid. So uh, all about that. All about that bank. Dollar, dollar bills, yeah. And then from there, I That's bought it. a... 21, you can ride something bigger. Spicy. So I, from there, I bought a, it was a, it was a Triumph Daytona 675 SE. Sorry, just dropped the grenade. (laughs) 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 Uh, Which was a really fucking nice bike. It was a 20 template. Uh, And for anyone who knows what the SE is, it's, uh, it's done with, (laughs) honestly, it was the sexy edition. So the frame was done in this like really nice blue. And then the the fairings were like a white with blue decals, and it was just the, the sexiest thing. It was the lightest, narrowest, and tallest in its class. It was a six seven five, and it was just, oh, it was an absolute minter. That absolute was minter. ridden unrestricted. No, that was still restricted, but because it was the injectors, it was done on throttle. Yeah, which absolutely sucked. Like on the carbs, it wasn't as bad, but on the throttle, so it's, basically, it's literally, a stop, it's not. It's it? not a case of like. I've got the full throttle, but it's restricted. It's, it's, a, it's an absolute rev limit. It's a rev limit. I've got yeah. that. Yeah. I've got yeah. that and that's it. And it sucked so bad. But it was what it was. I rode it and it was fine. You know, I did what I had to do on it. Um, and I think it was, I think, off the top of my head, I think it was 23 days before the restrictors came off. I wrote it off. Oh. I wrote it off. Yeah. And, Big uh, styley. I mean, it wasn't really, but then I'm known for coming off pretty drastically. So in my eyes, it didn't <laughs> seem right? that bad. I was fine. Yeah, yeah, no. I was, I said I was fine, but I was fine because of what happened. So I was uh, coming around a left-hand corner and uh, the front end washed out, which basically means the, the front tire gave way. Disappeared, yeah. Just, yeah, basically went away from itself, uh, went away from the tarmac. And uh, the bike went away. For what reason? <sighs> Water, oil... Who knows? Who knows? Are you literally just, just sometimes went. it's just like you know it could be you were could riding be the it could be off right, a yeah, packet, like, it could be anything. Like generally, it's because you're riding like a prat. Mm. But I definitely or wasn't doing shit on that. The road. I definitely wasn't doing that. 
so the, the bike went away from me. I went down. I watched the bike. It slid over. It hit a curb. Oh, it, no. bounced, it bounced up. Now, the problem is, like, it, when I uh, got it, I was like, right, I need to protect this thing. So you get, like, your side bobbins, which protect everything. Yeah, yeah. So if it goes over, your, sli your, your sliders. Yeah, basically. But the problem with that is plastic on tarmac just doesn't slow down. It just keeps going. So, <laughs> so the speed didn't stop or slow it at all. It just like, whee! Let's fucking go! Yeah! yeah. It basically yeeted itself into a curb, which is a relatively high one, which... Oh. So the bike came down its side, hit there, di the tyres gripped on the curb, brought it up, hit a, um, like a, a barrier. Once it hit that, it basically exploded, went in the air, and just did flips. <laughs> to which I'm now sliding towards the barrier, and as I went into the curb, I remember going up under it, and I somehow had my arm over my, like, top like this, and, uh... I basically, if my arm wasn't there, I wouldn't have got wedged under the barrier. I probably would have carried on going and my helmet probably would have caught and probably taken my head off. Oh. It's, uh, it's quite, when you think about it, it's like, I probably could have died. Yeah, but it's, you probably only thought about that like a few weeks after, after you got back in the saddle. Oh yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just led there like, could someone pull me out of this because I'm actually wedged. I can't get out. I did so, not know about this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, yeah, this is a, and I was just I only knew about Windy Corner yeah that's <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that but uh, yeah I got sort of like you know you do that thing when you crash you sort of I don't know this is what I do but like I sort of I've led there and I'm like okay I'm here I'm alive still breathing still breathing to which you know we were, we were going to it was a, me and the family we were going to uh, Thruxton to watch the uh, super bikes yeah, you fucked that right up and uh, we didn't go that day funny enough yeah, I fucked that right up. So everyone came over like, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Got dragged out to do the, you know, ring the insurance, ring the police, whatever. The police turned up and um, they were like, this is a, a 675cc bike. Like, you can't be riding this. I'm like, yeah, no, I, I know that. It's restricted. And they were like, what are you talking about? It's restricted. It's restricted. They had no fucking They have clue. no idea. Yeah, they they are cons fucking useless. What constabulary this was. This was uh, Devon and Cornwall. Surprise, oh, so surprise. they're just as bad. I mean, just as good as <laughs> Avon and Somerset. Yeah, oh, basically. No, they're just as bad. I've got a lot of fucking shit to say about I've Avon got some recent... I just sacked in Bristol. My van got broken into. My AirPods got stolen. Uh, ah, I, well. But they've got an air tag in them. I knew exactly where they were. They were like, oh, no, we need a serial number. Gave them the serial number. No, no, no. We need. Uh, well, you know, the air tag isn't that great, so we can't really pursue it. Can't, I've given you the serial number where it is. And they're like... Yeah, now we can't. Really and if do you that. go and get it, you'll be done for. Exactly, that was my point entirely. Like I was like, you, I'll go oh, get them. No, you, you can't do that. No, fuck no. You. If I was to go there and like started, if I just asked for my AirPods back, and they were like, oh, you know, this, they rang the police and were like, this, this person's harassing us. I'll get arrested. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's as simple as Absolutely. that. They'd be there, fucking full force, riot yeah. van. Absolutely. That's what going to be um, those just up oil protests at the moment where you've got the general public dragging them out the way and police are arresting the fuckers who are doing their fucking job. Wait, for Can fuck's we start sake. running over people that are protesting in the road, please? Anyway, we're getting fucking off track. Yeah, anyway, up. so, yeah, my, my bike that I fucked up, <laughs> First the one. police officers were like, uh, we need to, you know, look into this. <laughs> went away to the car while something stood there like oh I know I'm fine yeah I'm came, good came, came back and were like yeah, okay fair enough you can carry on I'm guessing they just went to the car and just text their fucking missus or whatever yeah and we're like well this I'll just let it go because <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you don't know anything about it? well oh, fair enough that makes yeah, sense right. yeah he's right he's right. yeah he'd be right be right so yeah I had to I had to get my bike recovered uh, and that is when my mother decided she wanted to give up riding oh right yeah, she's like, oh, I can't, I can't deal after with this. Seeing after seeing, yeah, yeah, after yeah, seeing yeah. me come off, she was like, oh, they're dangerous, they're dangerous. And yet, that cunt doesn't give a fuck about his mum because he carried on riding. Oh, I love my mum. <laughs> big up, mum. Um, <laughs> big up, mum. Uh, <laughs> big up, mum. <laughs> both both mum and dad said, like, don't get a bike license. So what did I do? No, no, don't basically everyone license. else started leaving bikes and I kept carrying on. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. Yeah. I shall carry the torch. Then, when you get to 25, do you have to do it's 24. another one? So yeah, I think when... 24 it is. 25. I honestly can't remember what age it was when I could then go on to a bike where it wasn't restricted. All I remember is after breaking the, the Daytona, it was a, 
a really easy uh, insurance settlement. So phoned up, said what happened, insurance investigator came out, yeah, jobs fuck drive, crack on. They paid out because it was all fully comp. Yeah. They paid out and I had a little bit left over. And with that money, I had, what did I have? I had uh, just just over 1,500 quid. Um, and my restrictors were off because I had only had 23 days left, left. on the restrictors. And um, I was like, I don't really know what to get. So I spoke to my uncle because he's, uh, he's ridden for years. He's done track. He's, he's done a bit of road racing as well. He used to race for, uh, I think it was North Gloucester Road Racing. Um, he was like, all right, I know of an R6 that's coming up for sale. It's a Yamaha. Right. Um, so you, you know, went straight into fucking street bikes. I w- I've, I've always been sport bikes. So, you know, anything that's got a really uncomfortable stance. Yeah. I'm keen. I'm yes. keen. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we went we went to go view it. Um, I took it out for a test ride, not knowing what an, a 600cc motorcycle would feel like at all. And this guy lived, it was somewhere up in North Devon, but it was like sort of out in the back roads. Somewhere down, not up. It was, well, for, for me, it's up because I'm down Devon. So. No, 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 We're in Somerset. Now. Yeah, well. It's not too it much North down Devon. for us. Well, fuck you. But anyway. <laughs> it's more west for you, though. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. I sort of, yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We went to uh, go view this bike and uh, he was like, all right, go, for, you know, take it for a test drive, see how, see how it feels. And uh, I remember riding it and just like, like you know, how's it gonna feel? I'm really scared about it. Took it out, opened the throttle, and absolutely shit myself. I was like, yeah. "Holy fuck, these things are incredible!" There was a, a hump in the road as well. The front end came right up. I shit myself, and I was like, "Holy crap!" Took it back to the guy who I was, you know, viewing it from, and I was like, "I'm having it." I took it. <laughs> I'm taking I was this on. Say, take I shit away. The other day, funny enough, I, I'm taking. Front end came <gasps> I'm taking this on, and. uh it's probably one of the greatest bikes I've ever owned. It was a, I want to say it was a Cat D or a Cat C write off. Um, and it always had, uh, it always had play in the, the headstock. Yoke Barons. Yeah. So it, every time it went in for MOT, they were like, oh, the headstock's, it's gone. Yeah. They, they put new Barons in. They were like, it's still not right. It's still not right. And I'm like, what well, is a, a, is an X write off? And they were like, it's probably it's twisted a bit. Yeah. Um, but it's an X write off. <laughs> it's like saying you're an X mental patient, but I it's always going to be there. Not <laughs> it's always going to have history. That's it. But I, I just, I loved it. It was great. It rode great. I didn't give a fuck the fact that it had a bit of play in it. It made, it made no odds to me with that bike. I learned so much, so, so much. So I had it, it was a road bike. It was fully road. And from there is when I got into track days. So riding on, I've ridden tracks in the UK and in Europe as well. And holy shit, to anyone who rides a bike, I I cannot stress enough how much you will learn from doing a track day. Uh, you've, you've just got so much more ability and freedom to do what you need to do on a bike. You can't ride a bike in the UK on the road to its full potential. No, hell a six, no. Not like, it doesn't matter whether it's 1,600 or whatever. You just... <laughs> well, not legally anyway. But... Just go to a track, you will, you have, like I say, the space, the freedom to do what you need to do to make it do the work. And you will learn so much. Like I remember doing my first track day, I was shitting a brick, absolutely shit. By the end of it, I was hooked. I was like, Jesus, get me back on the circuit. I need to go now. Um, I did my first European track day, which was Cartagena in Spain. And from doing that first one, I came back to ride on the road and I was like, I don't even want to ride on the road anymore. This is just stupid. Like, from what I learned to doing track days, I just can't compare to road road riding at all. You just learn so much. You know how to ride a bike. You know how to throw it in. You know you you have a lot of trust and faith in your tires, your bike, yeah, and your course. riding ability as well. And there are no other fucking idiots. Oh no, there's still a lot of idiots, but there's, there's, no there's less of them. Yeah, the, there's no cunt in a P thirty eight pulling out on the A thirty seven. That's it. Yeah, they're not like looking. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> Who exactly else could right. they be on about? <laughs> yeah. They're not just going to apparently be like, oh, do you mind? I'm about to spill my champagne. I'm pretty sure that happened when I come down to Cheddar Gorge for a day. <laughs> like the way organ donor, i got places to be. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I yeah. I haven't got that car, it's fine. From riding on the road, uh, from riding on the track, I came back to road riding. I was, almost, I was almost ready to just give it up. I was like, I don't even have an interest in road riding anymore because this is nothing compared to what I know the bike can do. I know yeah. what I can do. 
And then I went on to road riding and it was just getting a bit silly. It was sort of like, you know, the people that I was riding with, they were the same. They've done track and it was just, it was, it was, it was just getting silly. And almost it was like, get, it's yeah, too yeah. ballsy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you, you're, you're almost not, doing... you're thinking track. You're not thinking about the kind who's going to pull out in front of you. Yeah. And when they do, you can have the best brakes in the world. There's only two options. You're going into that car or you swerve and Hopefully the luck, avoid. the luck is you avoid or you go head on with the car Yeah. or you go over the bike. Yeah, or you put a bike down and just pray yeah, you don't slide into the car. Yeah, 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 that's it. That is exactly it. So I know exactly where you're coming with that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was almost done with road riding. I didn't want to do it anymore. Um, but <laughs> that wasn't the case. I still road ride, but just kind of, you know, more to, for leisure. Than yeah, for... it was. It was more for leisure. I didn't. I had a lot of friends who still rode on the road, um, and they still wanted to go out. I was like, yeah, well, I'm still keen. You know, like riding bikes, this and the other. So, you know, still rode, but I was still just itching for that track, just itching to go back to it, itching to go back. So from doing Spain, I then started riding in uh, Porto Mayo, Portugal, and that is a fucking awesome circuit, very technical. So Cartagena is not that technical. It's very flat. It's not a lot of like hips, dips, cambers, that sort of thing, but Porto Mayo is all about that. Uh, <laughs> that was, it was the first time I rode slick tires. Uh, it was in the in the in the midst of the summer. It was so hot. You could get the you get the heat in the tires. Yeah. You could really have a good fucking blast. And I'm talking about riding on a bike. It was a 2001 R6, and I'm running rings around like people on like R1s and shit like this. Because catch them in the corners. Yeah, like it, mm. everyone everyone revs on about having a thousand cc experience like, over power. Oh, leader absolutely, bikes. absolutely. Your leader absolutely. Bike. It says the man you know when you, when, you, when you do track days <laughs> when you do when you do track days you you know you do your briefing this that and the other they tell you to do this do that don't overtake on the outside but it got to a point where it's like I can't do anything but overtake on the outside because these cancer are going slow and yeah. I got to fuck I'm it, uh, it, it's really weird on three words got to get on <laughs> <laughs> yeah the that's fuck it out of way, cunt. <laughs> foot down friday um <laughs> I, in in riding it's the only time I've ever felt like my mind's clear. I know what I'm doing. I'm I'm on a mission to go around as quick as I can and you enjoy. Are entirely encompassed. Oh, in absolutely. That moment in time. Yeah. You're, not about else. you're not, you're not I'm thinking about the fucking no, electricity I, bill. No, you're not thinking no, about that fucking shit no. you got to do when you got back that shed, you got to bang up, whatever. You're just I gotta hit that next corner on that fucking line there at yeah. that speed and break here. That's it. I know so what I'm I doing. I like to call it uh, wind therapy. <laughs> I see, yeah, to be fair, that's probably bang on. Yeah, yeah, it is. A lot of people talk like uh, when we went over to Iron Man this year, um, which obviously we'll get onto in a in a bit. Uh, it was the first I so it, uh, the bike that I rode is uh, the first time riding a thousand cc. It's my first one liter bike. It's a Fireblade. It's a Honda. It's two thousand four. Um, and uh, someone got square scared. Squared? Fucking scared. <laughs> I wouldn't say scared. It was just that they're fucking quick. It's like, oh, it wasn't fast. so much fat, was it? It was the front brake, wasn't it? Yeah. So the bike's got a few issues, which I'll get sorted soon. And which is the reason why I left my van at the uh, the pub because I've backed up against a uh, signpost. a, a signpost because <laughs> the bike's still in the back. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's still just good to the fucking shop. I've not emptied it out yet. So don't uh, worry, Shag. Yeah, you're in Somerset. Be <laughs> not of you, but, yeah. But from driving that, or, or not driving, I, I will slap myself for that. Riding a bike of that size is, is a whole other ball game. Like the mountain section that I rode on the Isle of Man, uh, I managed to get 173 out of it on the mountain mile. And people are like, I would never do, like, how would you even do? I was like, my mind is clear. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, all, all, all you're thinking gone. about there is what you're Yeah, doing all you're thinking about is there. Yeah, yeah, you've got the tunnel vision. All you're looking at is what, what's in front of you there. The next slight curvature in the road, because along the mountain mile, it's not a straight road. It, it, there's a few curves in it. You, you're thinking about, I've got to be out here to take that nice line, to keep my speed up and all the rest of it. it. Yeah, your mind's nowhere else apart from what's in front of you. What's so, a crack with MOTs and stuff over there? They're hot as shit on it. So, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? It has yeah. to be yeah. a road legal, MOT'd, Insured, yep. taxed Absolutely. bike. Yeah. But it's, not, was, uh, it's not what, even just that, is what it? What was it? There was that one bloke who took the bike over. It hadn't been taxed for like 30 years. No MOT. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was an old bike, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like a classic bike. <laughs> like a Norton Commander or something. <laughs> <laughs> it basically was. Um, I think it was like a... got his RD125 out. Hey, I think well, it was well, I don't have any seat. shit talking about the RD, all right? <laughs> it's a fucking fine bike. Was it? 
I think it was a Honda C90 or something. It wasn't even anything like no, special. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was a real fucking like classic bike. And I think yeah. he just got picked out. It yeah, was he like, did. got pulled in and they checked him and were like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> He's riding on he's riding track like on the circuit, whatever you want to call it. I don't really I don't really understand he's, the island. I feel like we've when, jumped right into it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't if, look, please because I'm gonna be like so, the majority of our listeners, I don't really understand the Isle of Man. I know you get Mad Sunday mm-hmm. and that's then, not really a thing anymore because it's all done by police convoy. But how does I've so, never done it. I've never done it. I've done it last so, year and it was very <laughs> You got to keep just being. It's all like in the say, words of Michael police. Scott. Explain it to me like I'm five. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I that would be hard then. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, fast on bike, people die. Yeah, yeah. Not well, no more though. Uh, but not no more. No, well, it's, yeah. it's very. It's so very, yeah. it was, Lash, it's been going for like a hundred and some hundred and something years now, isn't it? So I don't know. I, know. I know it's basically two point six deaths per year. Yeah, you saw that same video I saw in. With yeah. fucking yeah, two hundred and sixty four deaths. I think it's been yeah. two hundred. Yeah, something like that. it's like average like two point six deaths yeah. a year, or per race. Yeah, it's um, but yeah. So, what? <laughs> Call us off. oh wait, oh I thought no. I couldn't see any beer coming out for a minute. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Your flow rate's off. <laughs> It's done for only flow controls. We've got no cooler because we're trying to save the listeners <laughs> from the <laughs> in the background. And so. From the heat. Yeah, over to the TT, like, obviously, so when the race is not on, the roads are open to the general public. Right. Uh, so from last year, they introduced speed restrictions across the rest of the circuit. So before that, it used to be, like, most of the circuit was unrestricted. Right. Because over there, the national speed limit sign isn't 60 miles an hour or 70 miles an hour. It's, it's like, it says, as fast as the fuck you want to go. Because the Isle of Man comes under different regulations yeah. to the rest of the UK. Yeah, it's similar got, to, like, it's, Jersey, it's Guernsey, government. Isle yeah. of White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you still own a gun on the Isle, a handgun on the Isle of Wight. Weird, well, I think, under certain restrictions. But you, yeah, there are yeah. no shops over there, though. I don't really understand it, mate. Anyway, sorry, um, Alex. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Last year they brought in around the rest of the speed, uh, around the rest of the circuit. They've introduced temporary speed limits. So most of the circuit now is like anywhere like from thirty to fifty mile an hour. Right. Unless you go off the circuit, you're very rare to find the national speed limit size where you can go as ballsy as you want. Yeah. Along the mountain section though of the circuit, they've now done that as all one way. So there's no traffic coming in towards you. It's all one Wait, way. For open, that. Yeah. open the road up. Yeah, so it's all one way. Go as fast as you want. Like Dwayne said, along the map mile, he had 173, was it? Yeah, 173. And I, I had 161. So bear in mind, Dwayne's on the one litre bike. I'm on the 600 uh, GSXR 600 K3. So I don't think that's too bad, really. I was thinking, what? 12 miles an hour slower than you on the amount of miles. But to yeah. be fair, it, it doesn't matter how fast you go. It's all about enjoying what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, and, when, when, and, when and we got knowing to the your end capabilities. Because yeah. if you don't, yeah. you will fuck up. Yeah. Not. That's going to end Okay, so last quick. year I came off my bike. But that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't due to not knowing what I'm doing. No, it was that just. Was wind where where I came off is it's called Windy Corner. For a reason. Uh, uh, and the amount of people that have been like, well, did you feel the wind? And I'm like, well, I don't know because I was in the moment. I didn't really know. I was leaning over. I was just doing what I do. Get me knee down, Shag. That's, <laughs> yeah, uh, it was, yeah. The knee, the knee was the ugly shoe, foes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've got the screenshot somewhere. The GoPro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's, sometimes it's just one of those things where you, you, you can't put a finger on what happened. It is what it is. And <laughs> unfortunately, when you go down... It hurts. <laughs> it fucking hurts. Yeah, because I we we long when we done that was the second run we done on the mountain last year, wasn't it? And we basically broke up on com- communications. We got a uh, yeah the intercom on the yeah, 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 break, break yeah. one line. We just push over the hill, go through dark, through dark. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but at the, the point where Dwayne was speaking to me, we sort of like he was a bit further in front, and we sort of a lost lot. communications. Yes, a lot. <laughs> Because at that point, I was still quite novice in the whole like right. But I only passed the test uh, back in 2021. Shag, don't worry about it. I so, got laps on the go karts. I know the score. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we broke up on comms life, and we always said if we ever break up on the mountain section, we'll meet back down the uh, Craig Nibar pub, which is the end of the mountain section before you drop down back into Douglas. And I got there, and I thought, what the fuck is he? I was like looking around, I couldn't see him, so I tried ringing him several times, no answer. I thought, oh, maybe he was saying we'll do a third pass before we go down to the paddocks. And so I dropped down through the back roads, back down the Laxey village before we went around back around to the mountain section. As I got into Laxey, he rang me. I was like, oh, it's on the shack then. 
He's like, oh, you couldn't do me a favor, could you? He's like, oh, what's that then, buddy? And he's like, oh, you couldn't come back up the windy corner and get the van keys off me. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you were right, mate. It yeah. wasn't just an awkward phone call. It was it was a painful phone call. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, you're all right. He's like, yeah, I am. Um, Mike's not going to go anywhere, though. And it was literally on like, day two we got there. So the first day oh, we got fuck. there, it wasn't, we, went, we didn't go on the bikes on the first six. We literally got there, sent camp up. And then we basically spent the day in the van sort of thing, like doing a bit of tourist shit and that. Yeah. The second day we got there, we went on the bikes and yeah. This is what the bikes look like. Or this one bike look like. And um, yeah, I, the poor, poor fucker was like sat there for best part of, I don't know, hour and a half was it? Would have, it's not, it's not ideal. It wasn't too bad to be fair. It was, it was, about, it was about an hour and a half you waited for me, weren't it, for the van? Hmm? But from the time you rang me to come back around a windy corner, get the van, come back and pick, pick you it in the It was enough up. time to know that the adrenaline had worn off and I'm hurting. Yeah. It was painful. <laughs> so I, yeah, I'd, uh, you I'd, full leathers? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I'd, yeah you yeah, would not I, ride without those. Absolutely not. I mean, to even, anyone even, who rides around not in full leathers, especially you see them in doing this sort of sandals, sandals and shorts. Even oh, on a fucking but, 50, you're like, what are you doing? My stepfather, he's, He's got scars from riding in shorts, doing thirty mile an hour, and he's like, it's "Just stupid. Just don't wear it. Just don't do it." It's like a what is it? It says like an inch of skin per fucking feet or whatever you lose doing some stupidly low. I, say, I speed. don't have four leathers, but I do have like bullet jeans. Yeah, and if then, you've got yeah, like the Kevlar like, jeans and that, that's, that's uh, fine. No, they've got D three in. Yeah, and then my Alpine Stars jacket, and I've got Alpine Stars t shirt. Yeah, so I don't know. I like last year I bought a two piece Alpine Stars. Leathers set. Uh, when I'm running over here, I'm going for like leisure rides and that, going out of the beach, whatever. I'll wear me two piece. Even when we went to the Isle of Man this year, it was a case of, oh, do I wear me one piece? Do I wear me two piece? And I was like, ah, fuck this. I'm wearing me one piece. One piece. Because along that mountain section, like I say, what I'm just one on that mountain mile. Rest of it, you're doing 120 mile an hour quite happily. Well, I say happily. You you you're pushing on. If you come off, it's going to fucking hurt. The last thing you want is a two-piece and that fucking, that one zip that's keeping the two-piece together is mm. to come apart and it start riding up and then you get the gravel rash and your skin comes off. It, yeah. It's, it's a, I mean, like, I've got a scar on my arm here. It's not, like, massive. Like, you might, last year, I might not it? be able to see it, but, like, I had a full, a full one-piece on, but, like, on the inside of the arm is all, like, a stretchy material. So, oh. you know, you've got, so you you've breathe, got the immobility. So you, yeah, so you breathe. But it. as I went down on this side, the arm would have gone down, probably twisted the leather, and then caught the little textile bit, com- completely worn through. And I didn't even know I'd done it until you were like, oh, you've, you've caught your arm. Yeah, it wasn't until I got back up the, the van <clears> and, <throat> and we loaded the bike up. I was like, Shag, you know you're fucking bleeding out your arm as well, didn't you? He's like, oh, fuck, no, I am. <laughs> There we go. Anyway, was... enough about crashing. It's not all about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> this yeah, is just it's... one. This is just one thing we're getting caught up on. But did you meet some fucking awesome riders? Actually? Yes, Absolutely. we did. Absolutely. Yeah. And to be fair, while they the... must be a different kind of fucking. Oh, they got some fucking. Do you know what bollocks. the weird thing is? You talk to them and they're a normal human. Yeah, <laughs> they're just a normal, normal human. Absolutely. Like, uh, when when you, the first thing. year you went, you went. Uh, you met. Uh, John McGuinness. Yeah, so I went with... That's the bloke who holds a record, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's, a, oh, he's not anymore. very well known. No. I mean, there's records broken all the time, but we'll right. get into that. Uh, John McGuinness is a bit of a TT legend. Um, oh, well, he's not even a bit. He's a massive TT legend. Fucking massive and, uh, legend. Basically, the, it was the first year I went, which is 2018, and uh, me and a friend had gone down to Peel on the island, yeah. and they hold uh, like a like an event a bit of like a social thing called peel day and they have uh different stalls stands they have stunt shows they like have a mini truck show like a mi- like a mini truck show with bikes yeah i mean the uh, whilst you're over there the, the island's littered with bikes anyway uh but whilst we were over at peel day me and my it was uh, me and a friend uh mr dobson we were there we were watching the the purple helmets now to anyone who has any <laughs> idea, what man? any idea? We were what, watching a load of dicks. These are basically a group of guys who are they're they're old and they basically ride these old scramblers that are absolutely beaten to fuck, and they just do stupid stunts like they just ride around. They'll do like a fucking like a, like a, a pyramid of humans on bikes. Oh, so it's like they're the, all pissed it's like as well. The, it's like the white white helmets, but fucking shagged. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever yeah. seen the white helmets? <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, fucking um, incredible. Shaggy's got a wanky YF125 there. <laughs> Beat the fuck. <laughs> ah, just get on my shoulders. <laughs> they'll be all right. You got a YB100 just giving it That's the basically shit. what these guys are, but they're <laughs> older and they've got like bigger bikes. And they just like getting naked as well. Ah. Uh, so anyway, we were there for... we were and there for... just showing up in pubs. Oh yeah, they see so, yeah, that's like their <laughs> trademark. So if you want a signature, they don't do like a scribble, they'll do a burnout. They'll leave the like a, a tire tire mark. That's their <laughs> that's their signature move. There's one pub down in Peel that actually lacquered over the burnout, isn't they? Yeah, so they'll they <laughs> these guys, they're elderly gents who are pissed on bikes. So they'll turn Fucking brilliant. They will turn up to a pub and they'll just ride into the pub. The, the, like didn't ask for it, didn't want it. They just wow. they're just riding in with these old scramblers, just fucking Literally riding. No fucks given. Everything two stroke. Beers. Let's go. Fucking. Then they're off. Um, <laughs> so yeah. If I don't think they actually do uh, their shows anymore, but no. Last year was the last year we done them, wasn't it? Is that when you were yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. So they were there. I think we were. It was a little bit too busy to see. Oh, we didn't fuck get there early enough. Heaving. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'd. Uh, we done Peel Day, um, and I've completely forgot where the fuck we were at. Meeting awesome people. Meeting awesome people. John McGuinness. There yes. we go. We were, in, at, we were in, at Peel Day. We done that. Anyway, we were off. We were going to go watch the racing, and we got to the bottom of, I can't remember the fucking name of it. Basically, off the start finish line, you drop down a hill, Bray Hill. That's it. Bray Hill. So basically, me and my friend, we parked up there. And we were going to go watch the racing. And this guy that we met at Peel Day, uh, we'd been chatting to because he had a device that clicked into his wheelchair that made it mechanical. So he could like move around. It was like a moving wheelchair. Was it Stephen Hawkins? No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, uh, so we, you know, we spoke to him. We were like, oh, how are you doing? How are you getting on? Like, and he said, like, oh, are you going to watch the racing? We just said, it's just the end of the road. And he was like, can you guys speak German? And we were like, <laughs> nine. <laughs> yes, we were like, no, no, we can't speak German. And he was like, all right, we have to put a bit of groundwork in, but bear with me. And I was like, okay, random guy we've met at an event in a wheelchair and he's saying, come to my place to watch the racing. Bit weird, but we'll, we'll go with it. We're, we're both, you know, he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> What's he yeah. going to do? So we went to... <laughs> Run you over. <laughs> <laughs> What's he going to do? We went to, we went to, we followed him to this can't house. Me. Went to this house and it was, uh, it was an, it was like a, an elderly lady called Rhonda. And she's sort of a bit of like a, a TT legend who lives on the island. Um, went to her house and got to meet her. Didn't give a fuck who we were. Like, didn't matter. The, the German part was irrelevant. You know, we turned up. She was just happy to see some people. There was other people there. She's put on a big spread. Uh, and it was just absolutely incredible. We went to her house and she's got photos. Like her, uh, what, would you, what would you call it? An annex or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was just littered with photos of people she's had photographs with, like famous people. And you could name any famous, but she's got them on the wall. They're all there. And was like, this is incredible. Like, who is this woman? She's just like an elderly woman who just like, just lets people into her house. So we're there, we're having dinner with her. Um, we saw, what's the comedian who had a tank in you, London? You, he wrote it through, is it a noble? Craig told you noble, this the other day. I, what? What's the comedian? He's, he's a he comedian. A tank. He bought a tank and he used to drive it around London. Something sure it's noble noble yeah well no there's not he's not a comedian but he's a fucking lunatic there's one up here called hillage <laughs> <laughs> big up george <laughs> big up the men at shooting ground <laughs> i know whistling's got a tank but i don't think he's gonna be over here i can't remember his name off the top of my head but he was there you had the md of honda was there with like a few other people in his team he was there and he's like, what the fuck have we let ourselves into? This is absolutely mad. Is it one of those things where you're like, I do not fucking belong here? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was, like, it was one of those like, like this fuck. is like, I, this is my first year at the Isle of Man and we're here with like these famous people and we're watching the racing and I just remember there's a ra she had a radio set up on her garden and I'm like, I'm looking over and I looked over and I'm like, nah, that's not, that's not. I'm like, fucking that's John McGuinness. John McGuinness is here. And I tapped on my mate's shoulder and I'm like, mate, John McGuinness, John McGuinness is here. And he's like, fuck off, I'm watching the racing. I'm like, no, mate, I'm being serious. He's like, mate, fuck off, I'm trying to watch the race. And he's like, holy shit, that's John McGuinness. <laughs> but we didn't simbo for him too much. We let the racing happen and then yeah, uh, Wanda put on uh, like a really nice spread. 
Uh, and we we managed to sit down with him, have a barbecue, and just chat to him. And he's the most <laughs> genuine chap you've ever heard in your life. He was yeah. uh, it was the, it was the, he didn't race because he um, he had a bad accident I think the year before. Um, the one thing he did do was ride the it was a Norton, but it was just like a what would you call it? like a scenery lap, like just just going around yeah. on the bike to just show everyone he was there. Uh, and <laughs> he was talking about the drugs he was on. <laughs> <laughs> a proper he normal like, bloke, like he was like. Honestly, these drugs that I was on, I was so fucking high. He was talking about, he bought a ready-made garage. But I'm not talking like, you know, your one or your two. Gar- he bought a six-berth garage, ready-made, that turned up at his house. And he's like, the fuck is this? Who, who are you? Why are you here? He's like, you ordered this garage. <laughs> who are you? What are you doing here? This isn't mine. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, no, Get you, fuck. you ordered this garage. Like, it's, he's like, oh, fucking hell, it's the drugs. He's- <laughs> So it's, like, it's the dumb it's like, drugs. It's like, I'm sorry, I didn't remember ordering this. And then he's 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 going on and he's on about like these drugs were like he couldn't get hard on his missus are eating like this barbecue like mm hmm. <laughs> are you for real? She's here like just agreeing with you talking about like not yeah. getting a hard on, but like just the most genuine. It was just it wasn't even a case of oh fuck he's a celebrity. You just had a chat with him. He was uh, just a genuine guy. From what I've met in the past, like race car drivers are assholes, bike riders. They are literally just normal people. I'm. It is a community. Y- yeah, it is literally definitely. a community. You could be broken down on the side of the road on a bike, and someone's going to come over and help you. Someone like uh, even if they're not even a, on a bike, they're going to be in a car who rides a bike. Be like, how are you getting on? You're right. What yeah, are you doing? Yeah, I saw a. Uh, I, I mean, to be fair, but I, got, I can't really call it a bike. It's a Lambretta. <laughs> It's a I bike. Mean, I mean, to be fair, mods, to, be, mods, mods, to be fair, it's, mods, mods, them, it's mods. got two wheels. It's a bike. To be fair to them, those little skinny fucking wheels they're on, and they're doing something mile an hour. Fucking yeah, fucking fair play to them. Get me a green jacket and some lewds. Let's go. Fifty fucking yeah, lights on the front. Like, on the side of the... About at least ten horns. Yeah, one of them was broken on the side of the A ferret the other day. I pulled over in the pickup and fucking was like, "You want to show what's on?" He's like, "Ah, uh, it's fucking dead. It's fucking overheated and all the rest of it." I was like, "We'll get up on the back. We'll get you up to the next town." You get it sorted up there. Yeah, all right, choose a bait. It's that, it's that sense done. of community. I don't, yeah, I don't try definitely. to be a fucking, I know you're going to take a piss, but it's, it is the same with Land Rover owners. It is the same. Oh, yeah, okay. it doesn't matter. Like, it's not the Land, oh, yeah. Land Rover broken, wave. I have broken down on a test drive in a fucking 90. Yeah, and somebody pull there over. had been, in the space of five minutes, five people in 90s. There was a Spore Disco. and two D3s yeah. pull over. I mean, to be fair, like, the more like the guys who own, well, I'd say the guys, People who own more the modern Land Rovers haven't got that same. No, 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 no. you're no. absolutely right. If, I, I, if you were like a, from like a D1 to like a D3, yeah, honestly, drive. I, and like the 110s, not in the 90s. 2007 backwards? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. I'm not being, I don't mean to be crude or like fucking horrible, but it's things that become affordable. Yeah. And a lot of people drive like infused. I'm not saying all enthusiasts drive cheap shit. But a lot of enthusiasts do drive the cheaper stuff and then put fucking twenty grand's worth of crap on it. Yeah, <laughs> but like, Bridge. yeah, no, seriously. Like, on a, in, in all honesty, I drive it fucking P thirty eight. I put my hand up to anyone, anyone driving a fucking ninety, a D two, a D one, any lifted shit. Put me hand up, and it's the Dro- same thing yeah. with bikes. You look at Dro- any, that, any like, bike everyone, riders, everyone blanks you. Nobody wants to know no. me in that thing. Yeah, yeah. Nobody put, fucking no. puts her hand well, up. To be fair, yeah. I was that similar. How my uh, I had a D one three hundred TDI. Yeah. Every cunt. Shag, yeah. Shag, shag. shag. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm not being funny. I know I drive a fucking uh, a brand new guy, Defender, but... A lot of people who own, like, the newer stuff... Start from the bottom, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but a lot of the people who own the, the newer stuff, it's more of a case of, like, rich fuckers on finance. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. The thing is, it's, 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 it's a sorry state of affairs, because it's, I... It's just a different breed. It is, it because is. every everyone I drive past, just I, I see a Defender, like a jacked-up disco, and if they put my hand up, and they, just, they stare at me, and they don't put their hand up back, and I'm like, yeah, all right, play that game if you want, but like, you know... <laughs> sorry, I'm on a finance whip. Yeah. Yeah. You'll break down before I do, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't care about I all that, but I'm like... without a computer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, it's, like, it's like, you know, I, yeah, I have driven P38s for the last 10 years, and I do know my way around them, and I have given my fucking whole life yeah. to the Green Oval... Yeah, you know, just because everyone else driving one of these hasn't See, doesn't mean that I am shag. She's commercial. You can tell I'm on a tax dodge. The, the thing they Alleged. fucked up on really was stopping the original make of the ninety. Uh, I don't they know. They had to. It's, it's, there was no uh, sort of question see, about it. It was. There is no place for that 
in this modern world because it's yeah, but it's, you, a, it's a shit chassis. Yeah, but you, it's a shit design. Oh, on, There's put, no fucking room. <laughs> the engines are wank. They're made by Ford. Yeah, okay. The, the, they're done. They're done. They cannot but, get any more money out of that. But you look how robust they fucking are. They're not. They are. They're not. They fucking they're, are. The old ones. I work yeah. on this yeah. shit every single fucking day. They are not <laughs> robust. Maybe the, older like, ones the only, are. The only difference yeah, is what yeah, Marlon's but... trying to make a point. What I think the the middle ground between you two is that to repair them, it's not a fortune. Like if you know, uh, all right, pre pre Puma engine, it's not that bad. No. If it goes wrong, it's not that bad. T, no. TD five, TD five is it'll be, be all right. Yeah, bottom it, end. Yeah. You, know, you can afford it, fine, but if a TD, if it, wank. yeah, TDCI is you know anything. Yeah, but anything, TDCI's anything, fucked it. Really, anything gearbox four goes wrong, like fucking hell, you may as well just. Scrap you it. Sell your fucking ass. Just scrap yeah. it. Yeah. I think what you're really struggling to remember is middle range, top or low, it's combined shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's where we're at, really. Yeah. Yeah. Marlon's I've got, going defensive right I've got another two years and nine months of warranty. I'm just going to live it up, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just living it up. And then anyway. once that's done, Marlon, uh, <laughs> me defenders fuck shag. Can you fix it? No, shag. it's shit. I don't think I'm daft enough to keep a brand new Land Rover out of warranty. Ain't That'll be chopped that the fuck in. Uh, anyway. Sell it for me. <laughs> but like you say, going back to the whole, you know, P38. No, let's go. Not, this, that, the other. You wave at each other. It doesn't matter what bike you're riding. Everyone waves at everyone. Yeah. 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 The community uh, is no. incredibly strong. No, you're slightly Unless wrong Unless you've got an L plate on. <laughs> then you, you earn your fucking stripes, boy. You fucking sit down there. No <laughs> one waves at you. No one waves riders. at you. Oh, they're just a different fucking. Breed. What is it? I, I've got. Uh, it's what is it? They I say. Don't know, I can make a noise uh, to make myself look attention. Tomorrow's price for yesterday's technology. That's what I've always been told about Harley's. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not a bike rider. I don't claim to be, but that's always what I've been told. It's a fucking armchair on wheels. That's a gold wing. I know, I think oh, that's all I want, boo. No. I just want a Mate, gold wing. they are wing. too heavy. I they are too heavy. Shag, a bike with a reverse gear, I'm sold. It's <laughs> not a bike. It's not a bike. It is. It's, it's got not. a sound system in it. <laughs> I used to be dead against Harleys, but like, I feel like... The older I get, the more I'm... The, the, the more it looks appealing. Leaning towards <sighs> I'm not going to say just appealing. Iron. I'm not going to say it's not a, a factor, because it is. It, oh, it but, completely is. <laughs> Marlon, I'm trying to I'm trying to stick in my youth, all right? Fuck yeah, off. shut up, Marlon. <laughs> but it's not. I don't know. It's, it's. I don't even know what it is. Maybe it's just fuck it. I'm just old. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I when I first started riding, I was like, I'm not a sports bike man. If I get a sports tourer, I'm kind of cool still. So I started. To be with fair, go, what was it? It's a Thundercat, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she was That's like, a really good starter bike, to be fair. Yeah. Because it's quick as fuck, but it's yeah. comfy. Yeah. yeah. It's not that comfy. I, I borrowed my uh, old man's Honda Footing of Japan European last year. And fuck me. It, it picked up the speed lovely. It flicked through the fucking corners. Light as fuck on the, going through the corners. Just flick it. Bop, bop. Done. Fucking through the corners. Lovely. My fucking jig, sir. Fuck me, you gotta work it through the fucking corners. You gotta fucking work it. The uh, the wo- the woman that put me and you through our trailer test. Yeah. Yeah, big up Sharon Sparks. Um, she she does like uh, bike test training and all that shit. Motor you lot, can motor, actually get trailers for bikes, by the way. I know, I've seen them. It's fucking terrifying. It's weird as fuck. <laughs> so she put us for our trailer training, but she also her main thing is like bike training. And uh, I was speaking to her when I was doing my trailer training before it became mad, like didn't need a license for it any old idiot could back up a caravan apparently one anyway. month one fucking month yeah yeah one month <laughs> I know and uh, she was telling me she you did got robbed. she got on some sort of like sponsored tour or whatever and she was like yeah I, they, I turned up and they gave me a 600cc step through a step through <laughs> like what you would call a moped yeah yeah she was like I had the most fun on that fucking thing. She was like the fairings, oh. the fairings on the side were worn through the plastic. I had me fucking knee down the lot. <laughs> I'm not being funny. My bike shots are. Uh, I didn't even know they made them, but apparently I didn't know they made them. There, there are some Step out there. Throughs. Yeah, like a like a moped style, like a sit down. She was like, yeah, 600 cc. She was like, it was unfucking real. I want to say that was quite old. It's it got to be. Would step throughs. No, so my my, my, um, my old... in Hardy spec. What? What Harley? What? No, like a moped. 
but like a 600cc it... moped. Yeah, my um... was it like a, a clutch that would like you'd pull the clutch in and lift it up, and that was like your gear. I have, I have no idea. I'm just gonna look it up. That now. was more. Like I've the seen a 250 Lambert. moped. That's about your lot. I thought something like was my uh, old bike instructor. He had a oh, fucking uh, scooter. I, d- I cannot. Can we look at your uh, cookies? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can accept he, all those. Here we go. Hey, well, um, there's something like yeah, a Honda Honda Silverwing. Oh, that's true. So like no, yeah, see, my, my bike shop, he had something smaller than that. And he would go down, like, the uh, seat in bike nights and all that, the rest of it. And he would go down on his fucking moped in full, in a one-piece levers. And then we were fucking, like, taking the piss out of him. Like, Getting like, the worst. But, oh. honestly, this thing would fucking fly. In 600cc spare. Yeah. I c- he she was like, a- I had my fucking knee down. I gave it back. They were like, what have you done to it? She was like, rode it like a fucking bike. <laughs> <laughs> rode it like a demon. Fuck around and find out. I always find it weird, like, that whole position of your legs being up like this and riding yeah. this. Did you, ha- you, did you, you ever have a, a moped? fucking chair? Hmm? Did you ever have a oh, moped? Oh, fuck me, yeah. 16, I had the old, uh, uh, what was it? Is a Piaggio Zip. Oh, I, mate, oh, I had a see? Suzuki. The exhaust was rusted to fuck. It was basically made of gum gum. I'm pretty sure all <laughs> moped exhaust... All fucking rust to fuck. Yeah. Yes. Well, they I made mean, as cheap as yeah. cheap as possible for yeah. the sixteen year old market. I mean, it don't get me wrong. My my parents bike. were different on that. It was a case of depends who looked after. My grandparents set the same as bond for me, and it was a case of if you get a moped before, like when you're before sixteen, it, you will 5K. not have that savings bond. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's like you get a car first, and then you can get a bike. I feel so, like that's what it was when I when I like got my yeah, and like, then like, car and bike. I I. So I, I got hit 18, got my Mercedes Bond, I spunked about fucking six and a half grand up the fucking wall. 16 grand? No, six, six and a half. I, I would have been... My first be fair, car was 660 pounds. My yeah, first car was I, 410 pounds. See, my, my first car was 600 pounds. Uh, uh, big up. In the Arden Blue, Corsa B. Ooh. One liter. Oh, Corsa B. The one oh, liter three cylinder eco boost. Get in the word. <laughs> <laughs> That is your standard <laughs> McDonald's car. And yeah, so I got that and done my car test. It wasn't until I was like 24, I started, I, I'd done my free with my bike, done my CBT. And then when I was 25, because of COVID, fucking up conspiracy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get Alex Jones on us. <laughs> um, They're trying to turn the fog gate. I, it wasn't until 2021 or I'd actually done my full bike license. Yeah. Smash out of the fucking bike. But I'd say I smash out of the bike. The day before my test, I um, I had dropped my bike down to one of the garages for it. So MOT. you did it on your own bike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rookie shit. No, 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 no. So <laughs> I'd done the test on my instructor's bike. It, uh, what was it? A K650? I think. Yeah. Yeah, it counts like a K, K, uh, KZ650, something like that. I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the day before that, I had just picked up my my Jixer from the, the garage for a new tire, uh, new, yeah, new rear tire, service, and a MT. Is I this literally the got... archery garage that yes. we shouldn't mention yeah. names of? Yes. Oh, fair enough. And uh, he says to me, oh, yeah, put me back to our review, because like, it was fuck. It was like, yeah, but I asked for anyway, because it was bold. And um, so, yeah, literally 50 yards from the shop, Went around the left hand bend, left hand bend, and as I was up right in, I just opened the throttle a little bit just to bring my speed up back up the thirty mile now because of the little village. So you're riding this without a license, allegedly, and insurance, yes, allegedly. <laughs> and as I done that, the back tail went fuck off, and fishtailed me, tank slapped me, sort of like sent me over the front, smashed me or broke me front right hand mirror off, and then threw me off backwards, snapped the. Uh, bro- yeah, so it snapped the gear lever on the peg. It also cracked the engine case on the left hand side for the static casing. <laughs> oh yeah, it was about 100, 170 pounds worth of damage. Mm, so I I, 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 I rode I it back it, round some to the garage, <laughs> and basically for me for me to get home, they basically jubilee clipped on an L bracket onto the gear lever, yeah. so I could go up and under gears to get home. And then I done my test next day, and then after we done my test, I told me, uh, me I was like, "You do know I dropped my bike yesterday." He's like, "You fucking what?" I was like, "Yeah, I dropped my bike what yesterday." Did you <laughs> He's like, say that? <laughs> I was like, "He was like, what the fuck?" Oh no, I can do one better than that. So we went down just before my test. We were in the 
training ground and just like doing a few maneuvers. I think this is just before my mob one. Um, oh, mob one's a cunt. And she was like, oh, just do a figure of eight. I was like, yeah, fucking no problem. Bang. Well, that's oh, what they were called. I forgot what they were called earlier on. Yeah, mob one, mod two. <laughs> so when I've done me mod one, when you do the, I uh, finished the speed talking trap, yet. Shut up. Yeah, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Suck my dick. I can turn you down. Um, <laughs> I literally kicked it too hard. Went down. 20 minutes before my mob one. Knocked my fucking confidence the fuck? Uh, on your own yeah. bike? No, <laughs> no. Fuck me, no. That's Always use trainees bike. bike trainees bike, yeah, yeah. They've got cages and everything around them. Oh, uh, right. So to be fair, you could, you could like run into a wall and it'd be fine. It li- I literally, fuck. I dropped it and I was like, fuck. See, the one I struggled on seconds, mostly was the uh, U-turns. Shut up. Um, <laughs> picked it back up again. Turned it off, back on. Because they've got a kill switch when it, get, when it goes over a certain tilt level. And it was fine. And I did the figure of eight perfectly. And I went down and did my mod one. No issues. Did he speak now? Did you pass it? Did you pass it? Did you pass it? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. uh, Passed passed everything for first time. My man. That was the most patch noise and clap I've ever heard. (laughs) I don't need a back. I don't need a pat on the back. I got a question. Is this, uh, I was told this in the pub the other day. So this is absolute pub talk. But you TT men might know. Um, is it true that Valentino Rossi came over to, I don't know what year it was, he came over to the Isle of Man, did two laps, and said, you lot are fucking mental. I cannot confirm nor no, deny, neither. but all I can say is it wouldn't surprise me. That, no. Because, 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 yeah, because yeah, these, these guys, the GP riders, the, most of them aren't GP riders. They're um, crazy. Well, it's not, yeah, it's not, even, it's not even most of them. A few of them are like British Superstock racers, yeah. World Superstock racers. They're not GP riders. They have no, uh, like we can get into it if you want to, but the basically these bikes aren't like, depending on what class you're in. So if we were to look at, uh, let's say Superstock, these are road bikes that have Slick very on. minimal modifications on them. They're yeah. basically road bikes and they are riding them at absolute limits. Yeah. On these roads, doing in excess of like an average, we're talking average speed here, average of 136 a, miles Joey an hour. Broke the limit this year? No, not Joey. Joey's dead. Yeah, Joey died years ago. He's actually got a memorial up on the mountain. Bungalow. You're so, thinking of Michael Dunlop. Yeah. And he, <laughs> he wasn't the guy this year. It was, it was uh, Peter Hickman. Peter Hickman. Yeah, he, he averaged 136 point... <sighs> Hold on, I have some stats. I did my old uh, research because I wasn't. I wasn't like we were. We were there for one day of he racing. Came here with fucking receipts. Jeez. Oh yeah, I yeah. So when he's doing his, doing his fucking notes and that. So Peter but Hickman. Yeah. He, Peter Hickman. This is uh. This was the 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 top speed clocked was two hundred and two miles an hour. This is on on the Solby Straight. This is yeah. It was the Solby Straight. This is uh. Yeah, on, so this the, is on roads. This is on road, 202 miles an hour. day before that, he'd done 200 miles an hour, which, which, which broke the record, 199. And then the day after, then he hit the 202 along the Sober Street. But the average lap time, or lap time, lap speed, is 136 points. So the best top speed on a lap was 136.358 miles per hour. That's average. That's fucking unreal. An average... Like, oh, let does. that sink into you. And like these... And 37.7 miles the circuit is as well. So, so when I, when they do... Three times the ring. Yeah. And like when... So the last day race, which is tomorrow, and they got the Milwaukee Senior TT race, isn't it, Dwayne? Yeah, that's six laps, which... What was it? 226 miles? Six miles. miles. So on average, you're going to be using about five tanks of fuel. And that's like a fucking Enduro. And... So they can, that's basically they, what it is. Yeah. On average, they, they normally fill up on, on when they do like two laps. Um, on the they can manage three laps, but when they come over the line, they are on vapors, and because they're injected as well, if the fuel is not there, it dies. Uh, yeah. Dean Harrison had that problem this surge. year, didn't he? You get surge. Yeah, um, the cooler is off. That's why. <laughs> Terrible pain. So yeah, you're looking about five tanks of fuel for the senior TT lap for Milwaukee sponsorship. Like I said, it's 266 miles. I mean, our bikes, 
even though, like, like I say, 600,000 litre, we're averaging, what, 110 miles per tank? That's what I was going to say. The cat will do, would, sorry, it's gone, would do 120 to a tank. Yeah, I mean, like, Ours, across like, the other, was, on a man, was 120 miles, 110? It was 120 to 130, depending on what we were doing. But obviously, we're not, we're not, we're not caning it around the whole circle. No, you, you're not you're, you're the only time we're, take, we're caning it is along the mountain section. Yeah. Which is what? We, we, we do that in what, six minutes? I don't know what the speed was. I've, I don't know what the time was. No, it was less than that because I, d- I didn't stop my GoPro until just after we got through the cones. We went through the national speed limit at that point. So it'd be after that. Then you got to off the bungalow piece as well because you've got the trams crossing. And then after that, you go flat out again. So you're, you're probably looking four minutes for the riders for the actual racers to be doing across the mountain section but it's definitely it? something on my bucket list but what was it 17 minutes I can guarantee you for anyone who likes bikes is it is the most so presti- it is, it is the, the best the most prestigious like racing event in the world you and will honestly, not find anything else and it's literally a fucking hop and a skip between us and Ireland yeah yeah do you know what I mean and um, it, it's I I went in 2018. I was not in any way, shape, or form thinking of booking again, and I just keep booking. Well, I've, like, bo- I've, I've booked again this year. I've got other stuff going on next year. I've got Australia and possibly a few other in. different things. Good but eye, but <laughs> fuck off, can't. I think um, I think I've got Australia booked for next year as well. No, mate, you've got a fuck off syndrome. Uh, so I've Why booked. I've, booked again. I've put the deposit you went, you down. Went Irish? Was it just me, or was it you went Irish? Not very no, good at accents, right? Fuck off. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it's definitely not Irish. <laughs> you, sir, can fuck off and sit in your chair and act like a big hymen. Yeah. Fuck off. Potato. Anyway, um, I will always book. Always book. I've put the deposit down. Whether I do or do not go, I don't know, but I'm not going to not book. It is incredible. It, it, it's better to get the, that deposit down for the ferry crossing and then when he gets to it, it's like, uh, uh, if, if, like you say, if, if, if I'm there, I'm there. If it, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, like the, last year's ferry breaking was what, £40 a piece, wasn't it? Yeah, for the deposit, it was 40 quid. This year, they've upped it to 80. I don't blame them. But you don't know the final price until we tell you in February. Don't know Something exact, like that. And they can basically up the price to whatever they fucking want. It's a monopoly. They can do what they want. Yeah, they? basically. Basically, the. Uh... So we need the DPRC to buy a ferry? <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> Steam Packet are basically the only ones that do ferry crossings to and from. So they dictate what the price is. Yeah. Right. And when they do, they just fucking rape you. Yeah. I but, that. I mean, what was our ferry? It won't it? stop. 590 this year, wasn't it? So it was. That's it. Let's go into uh, complete costings for two of you going over there in a single van. So, single van with two bikes in the back was £590 for the ferry crossing. Our camping was £240 for seven nights, eight nights. That was for seven nights, yeah. Any yes. electric? No. No. That's, but that, that is you the specific. You have got showers, toilets, washroom. Tea, coffee. They've yeah, got free tea, coffee. They've got a breakfast bar, or a, 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 a basically a food van there, but does, yeah, breakfast you and dinner. You have to pay dinner. for that? Yeah. So it's... It's an expensive pound trip. It's four hundred pound yeah. a piece. It's an expensive trip. I mean, on average, I mean, between a pair of us, what a thousand pound for the week for spending? You're looking at, yeah. In, in total cost, you're grand. looking between a thousand to twelve hundred pound a week. Well, for the for the total cost, you're going to have just for a week. Not horrendous, though, is it? For what no. you for what you've bigged it up to be, like, oh, like oh, you can. I, I would always pay it. I can. I yeah. can easily wank a grand away in a weekend in Prague. And have and fuck all to say for it. <laughs> not we had a lovely time. The, we had a lovely time, but ex- I don't have the fucking tails these guns are come back with. The experience you get, I mean, like on, on the Friday before we come back on the Sunday morning, we were sat down in the Cragney Bar at the end of the mountain section. We just went over, we went literally went on the, on the Friday morning, wasn't it? We went through a few blasts on the bikes. That's when we hot our top speeds on the mile. And we just went, was, oh, we'll try and get some. Uh, so, because you got to pay for the uh, balcony seat, which is twenty five pound, wasn't it? Uh, it was, yeah, it was twenty quid. Yeah, but... 20, 20 quid for the balcony. Each, like, yeah, yeah, yeah each. each. But it is, it is an incredible, like, like you get to see point. right down the section of the mountain mile. Because 
up down the bottom side, you can't stand at the front because that's where the media is sat to. And like marshals and all the rest of it. So we used to up on the balcony. Death zone. <laughs> yeah, basically they got the, the, the they got fucking round barrels there in behind the uh crash pads. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Um so yeah, we're still up on the balcony and we actually got talking to one of this uh this bloke and it turns out he actually sponsors three of the riders for the TT. <laughs> um who if you uh follow the podcast, obviously, you would have seen it pop up on my and Dwayne's stories and also Marlon shut on the Doghouse podcast and his own one of the riders called Jamie Kringle. Now, he's a new upcoming rider. His brother, Ryan Kringle, as well, races. Uh, at the moment, we'll see, averaging 109 miles an hour lap for an upcoming rider. That's and shifting. yeah, we, we got talking to this bloke and say he, he, he actually lives on the island. He's a scaffolder. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a scaffolder. and roofer, that's his business. Yeah, yeah. scaffolding and roofing. Um, so yeah, and like you were saying, oh yeah, last week I was in Monaco watching the F1. I played four grand for like three days for corporate, and like what the fuck? It's like we need to fucking befriend this bloke here right now. And we did, yeah, we fucking did. Like we got on Instagram, we got on Facebook, got his number. But the way we did it, it was quite funny. So we went up to the balcony, and <laughs> there was like one section that was like free for people to stand at, but there was drinks there, almost like they put them there to reserve a space. Fuck off, that's our space now. <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. You snooze, you lose, bitch. And uh, he basically came over and was like, oh, sorry, boys, you mind for grabbing a drink? Yeah, no worries. And, you know, crack on. And we got talking and, you know, introduced ourselves, this, that, and the other. And he said he was a, a guy of the island, you know, he moved over and started his business, this, that, and the other. Got chatting and it just, it, we like, we, we really did hit it off, like with the guy. And oh, big uh, time. <laughs> we were talking about, so he looked on a, the local newspaper on the back page was like, oh, uh, influx of ketamine on the island and this, that, and the other. And it was like, what's the crack with drugs then? Is it a bit of a problem or no? Like, <laughs> so we were talking to him. He was like, big problem, big problem. With, with saying this. Probably because I got fuck all else to do with this. To be fair, he said to us, like, the, like burglaries, stabbings, what sort of, doesn't really exist over there, but drugs, fuck me, it was bad, wasn't it? Literally, There's nothing to do. But what's, what's more, even, what's even more funny is, like, literally, whilst we were there, a guy was coming out of a K hole whilst we were on the balcony. <laughs> he was literally like, he just jumped out of his chair, like, whoa, fucking boys, what's going on? So, he was, oh, no, are you all right? He's like, yeah, I've just come out of a KO. It was like, well, cut it well the news don't lie over here, does it? <laughs> he was, he was no literally sat down on the balcony with a fucking jumper over his head. It, like, oh, it's just, just like, fucking gone. What is, what is going on? <laughs> they say it in the news, Fuck. it's happening in front of us. But yeah, with this, with this guy, he was, he was just a really genuine, nice chap. He was buying drinks, we were just chatting shit, watching the racing, having a really good chinwag. Um, and from that, he was like, oh, you know, I sponsor a few of the riders. Do you want to, you know, meet a few of them? Maybe, you know, you know, do this, do that, talk to them, get this, that, and the other, find, some, find out some information about the racing. Fucking great. That's grand. No dramas. So yeah, went down to the, uh, went down to the pits, met like Jamie Kringle, didn't we? Yeah. Went over and met him, had a good chat and that. I mean, yeah, we only met one of the three of the riders. So that was because uh, one of the riders... Because again, because he knew it coming rider, he didn't have the massive sponsorship like like it's hard, like John McGuinness, Pete Hickman like, for Honda, BMW, and all that rest of it. So he was actually still working. He was he's a groundskeeper. <laughs> so he was working. So we couldn't actually like go and speak to him or meet him because he was working. He was obviously still had to pay his bills. <laughs> he's putting a shift in. Yeah, he's <laughs> exactly right. Like, um, I mean, what was the other bloke? Uh, I can't remember what his fucking name was now. Some Polish fucking name. But yeah, we met Jeremy Kringle. He was there and we got to speak to him and the rest of it. And again, as most of you saw, we probably put up on a story with us, me and Dwayne and Jamie holding the doghouse flag. The Big fucking up. boys! <laughs> Big it up. So I saw the pictures that looked fucking awesome. And yeah, he was absolutely sound as fuck. He was just, uh, you say, uh, Dwayne says, just, a genuine just normal chap. human being. Salt of the earth bloke. Like. Mm. Yeah, 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 really. Yeah, he was like, just having a nice little chat You just go, with a, go for a pint with him. Yeah, yeah, bloke, you bump into the pub. Yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely. <laughs> or you shag. All <laughs> <laughs> right, I got one last question before we fucking round this off. Uh, Alex, tell us something your mother doesn't know. God, you know this for oh, a minute. Fuck Not fuck for a sake. minute. I wasn't expecting this one. Um... She doesn't know the fact that my first tattoo that I got was actually done in the back of my mate's shed. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it was done professionally. Wow. Yeah, all the everything was sterilized. Do I know? I mean it was. <laughs> um oh, this is so bad. <laughs> so I fucked one of my mum's mates in her house whilst she was asleep upstairs. Hey yo! What is it with everyone and shagging but, uh, mothers have and you mothers' not been friends? There, and no. you done it? No, I mean, it wasn't I was, intentional. She was just there, and we got talking, and there was gin, and we were fucking. I mean, what, the club. <laughs> I mean, one of the nights <laughs> we were Take fucking. Out the, one of the nights yo. I fucked my mate's mum. Like his actual girlfriend at the top. Well, still is his girlfriend. Oh, fucking hell. Gets worse. Um, she came into she the bedroom and um, because I was like, oh, I'm going to fucking bed. Fuck this. She's like, come on, come on. Like everyone wants to come. Like everyone's here. Like sort of thing. I was like, the only way I'm getting out of this bed is you suck my dick. She sucked it. I got out of bed. Oh my god! <laughs> right, um, Reg. <laughs> yeah. Who is the sponsor of the episode? Sponsor of this episode is JR Tree and Land Services. I referred to in a in a past episode about uh, Q permission. It's actually called Class Q. I did a little bit more research into it in the last couple of days because I knew about it and didn't know enough about it. So basically, yes, it is the Class Q is to help create more uh, housing. In the countryside, especially if you've got an if you've got a farm, it, it can help increase the value of your farm. So if you've got some old fucking wanky old stone barn knocking around in the, down. in the corner of somewhere, yeah, do not knock it down. Do not beat it down to the ground. Leave it standing. Leave it rotting. What you need is to get your man in from JR Tree and Land Services. He'll take one look at it and go. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll fucking do that and put this up there, and then we will fucking put we'll put a new roof on it, put some new yeah, this that and the other. It's all there, and it is one of the easiest plan permissions to obtain because it's literally, as we all know, when it comes to farming, it's very much like you want it, you have it. There's a grant for this, there's a grant for that. Fucking, you know, we've we've just got our own set of rules. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, haulage industry. We just do what we fucking want. Okay, Fuck so you, you we got we got our own key. If you've got something like that, you can get permission on a class on a class Q to turn it into a dwelling. So. It's gonna bring up the value of your fucking farm. Watch Clarkson's farm. Yeah, yeah, they did it. it. Yeah, it, I mean, they did it with the well. That was the restaurant. A, that wasn't was it? commercial premises. And then they got. Fuck. But you can literally turn it into if you got an old mate, milk and bale, an old fucking straw bar, an old hay store. You can turn it into a residential premises, a house basically. So hit up your man, JR Tree and Land Services. Get him down there. Have a little skim round, back of a fag packet. What you want done? He'll have a look round. Bang. Turn that fucking shitty old falling down shed into something that will into earn you some, money. That's something well, that looks I mean, I've seen, fucking I've known incredible. So many people do it. Turn these wanky old fucking old. I got this old fucking cubicle shed here. Shag. Turn into this incredible Bunk fucking version. stockman's accommodation, herdsman's accommodation, whatever. You can make it happen. Just, Just do it. Even a fucking Airbnb accommodation. Hey, if you can Airbnb it, do whatever. I mean, the council don't got to know what you do with it after you get with your permissions. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so big up JR Train Land Service. Link in the bio, top link. Uh, uh, all his details are in the episode description. Hit him up on Instagram at JR Train Land Services. Absolute top scumbag. Bosh. Some fucking boy. Right, I think we're fit to boogie. Anything to add, Marlon? No. No, right. Don't buy Good. merch. Don't buy the merch. Uh, thank you for everyone for listening. Rate us five stars on Spotify. Follow us on Spotify as well. Really helps out. All that shit. Yeah, all that, whatever. Leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Uh, <laughs> I have been Reg. I've been Marlon. I've been Alex. Hi, Fief. I've been the <laughs> sharpest beard in the Southwest, and I need a piss. Right. We'll say true. <laughs> and that's the end. No. Oh. Until next week. Yeah.